check me out now. Return of the smooth operator. Shady on repeat. I say sleep later. This another favor. Consider me your neighbor. Lost a lot of fam in pursuit of the paper. She gon' catch the vapors when we slide by. The way I speak my mind, it's like I peak my prime, but I ain't close. I cruise through the night air. Fantasy a dream. Real world is a nightmare. Like Claire Battle in the brainless. Learn to live shameless. Talk about me a lot, but claim that I'm nameless. You aimless. So I'ma style on them. They washed up. It's a wrap. Throw the tile on them. Gaining miles on them. Old tacos for the win. I goes it depend on the mood that I'm in Like Finn when it's time for adventure This some new blue Get ready to enter my mind for a few Come and take a ride with the crew I'ma show you how to recoup Days lost when you vibe with the blue uh, Come vibe with the blue yeah. About time to regroup Fly got my eyes on the view Never hear lies, only truth Realize why they vibe with the blue uh, Vibe with the blue Wait, you know the rest. I'm blessed. I see you fronting like you ain't impressed, but I still get requests. I'm playing Zelda on the GameCube. I quit spamming my music. Don't ever try forcing the links. That's a high rule. The wind wake of Mother Nature on my side too, controlling the elements. Go and check my avatar. I'm arrows ahead. Get the point moving forward. The battle scars accumulated over time. All reminders of what I went through as a mind. The trees broke down, but it's loose leaf. If life's a game of death, I'm loosely. Ooh-wee. Lose sleep on the regular, trying to get this word out. Then I crash nebula. Wish I had a very odd parent, maybe two, but it's cool. Everybody pays dues. Now it's time to make moves. Granny didn't raise me to lose. Think I'm in the mood for a cruise. Wanna why I come and vibe with the blue? I'm vibe with the blue. 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 Check this out, y'all. Back spasm like the elderly. Worth of my cousin Beverly. Never swear away from the truth. Just ask Heather. Be weather, be tripping. Stone and look control like our destiny. Always give you the best of me until the death of me. My weapon we is a paintbrush. Hush. Don't tell my secret. They get a hold of you. If you leak it, get it. Got you covered though, look. But let me get back to that cool ish, Lucius. Why they still lying? They don't do this. Bad at board games, whole world clueless. Selling their soul for Ruth Chris. Who's this honor fella? Need a slice, extra mozzarella. Crew, I'm I'm like they be born like they don't trust fun. Why you dodge to tell her? You don't know, but my eyes are better. Life's a gamble. Depending on who holding the cards, you can start living at large or it's bon voyage. Charge it to the game. Me and you ain't the same. I'm thinking bigger pictures. Why you still? Shrinking the frame, ever blinking the rain. Uh, it helps when your eyes dry. Mob with the bright minds. Think you funny, wise guy? <laughs> Midnight Marauder with a new tribe. Tired of the fake. Come and vibe with the blue sky. <laughs> Come vibe with the blue sky. Why do you try? We get them high. Uh, take them high. Come vibe with the blue. Yeah. Vibe with the blue. Cash, what up? Vibe with the. seen everything that has ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? Are you ready? And I might take up a couple of heads a night, yeah. somebody give me a guillotine, I just might ride on my enemies, right. dark and I fuck on my energy. 
Nowadays they just talk, but they talk about nothing. Nowadays everybody wanna say something. God damn, I'm the man and it feel like it. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid. What is up, Earth's mightiest subscribers? It's your boy, Ernie, Blur Without Fear. Got the homie, Robo of Left Face TV. We are missing a cipher temporarily. Welcome to, what is this? This is episode 20? Is this 20 of... 20. The Jesus. big two zero. We can I, almost drink. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know why I asked that as if, like, if, if anyone's wondering why I asked that as if I didn't set up the stream and name it, it's because I forgot that quick. That's how... That's how that's how time works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is how time works. I'm sorry. You like you like that elite elite X one new intro. Yeah, that that was all him. That, that's that that's Got all that, that, that's all Robo right there. Like uh, out here uh, flexing the mus the muscles. Uh, <laughs> out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to make a make a little bit uh, you know. Put some, put some, uh, some nerds of culture on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like now it's official. Now, like it wasn't, like it right? wasn't official. It it wasn't official before. It's official now. It, it's it's very it. official now. That that's uh. That's it. There we go. I gotta. I knew I forgot. To. Oh shit. Oh yeah. You know, cause I got I got apps. I got apps and stuff. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Wait a minute. We got a. Uh, let me let, let me switch it up. We 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 have a we have our third man. Uh, he's, he's like he's like yeah 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 out here out here out here. <laughs> Traffic like oh, and a half. I am so sorry. No, you good, dude. You good. You good. Don't uh, do not sweat. And, and I was like, yeah, I think I got time to eat. And then I was like, I look at the time. I was like, well, guess not. Eat. Hold up, fucking with the headband. <laughs> I'm fucked oh. with it. I'm yeah, old. yeah. Oh yeah. shit! I just caught that. I just oh, caught yeah. that. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's getting oh, long oh, enough. Yeah. It's getting long enough. Oh, so we were equal with equal today, huh? <laughs> oh. I got a thick one too. I got a thick one too. But but the thing is, is that hold on, let me let me lower my my chair here. There we go. Um, but it's um, I don't. My hair's not long enough yet. Yeah. So yeah. it really just like hides all the hair, and it looks like it's just like and got some fluff out in the top. So I'm like, nah, I gotta wait for that one. <laughs> Damn. Uh, been, been I likes there. it. I likes it. Yeah, I was like, dude, I was like, wait a minute. I, I like, I legit like, I would not have noticed if Cipher had not said it, said anything. Does he have an escrow right now? I think so. <laughs> My saw, man, out here. I saw a vid. Uh, was it a vid? I think it was a video from like early TNT. They like the first run of it, right? And I was like. And you, I think you only had the mustache or some shit. I'm like, yeah, nah, he definitely looks better this way. Like currently, like currently, I don't mean like back then. I was like, yeah, this this looked like a cop who was trying to convince me that's not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel me, like we just me, did that. I feel like we we just let we me just tell you all the truth. Here's the truth. Here's something I'm okay with admitting. I'm okay with this, right? Uh, the fuck? Why can't I the get bigger I get. The more Charlie Brown my face gets, right? Like I just get a, I get, like I just come up, I just come up like this, right? And so when I'm in shape and I got the fade and stuff, it's it's legit, it's money, it's sexy as fuck, okay? This guy, but as my face gets bigger, right? As it has, and the and the high end type becomes more like a, it gets rounded and rounded. I'm like, man, I'm glad I can grow my hair out now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one, well, one, one, I get it, and two, and the reason why because, uh, kind of like I was talking like, yo, you want me to like cut my hair low, like fade? And she goes like, nah, you, you look better this way, right? And then I mm -hmm. saw a picture of me, and I and I yeah, I look younger, but I was like, oh yeah, when I look good like that, I look good then with it. That's a sexy motherfucker. Right, mm, this right, is right, age. right. Yes. Way more wiser. <laughs> yeah, like you gotta have there's a it's a whole thing, you know what I mean? Like it's even like it's the same thing with style, right? Like I don't hate on style. I rarely, rarely hate on style. Even mm. if I can't, I don't. <laughs> and I'm like, I wanna I wanna wear a suit like that, 
but I know my Barney Rubble Bill ass is not going to look good in it like that dude does. So <laughs> you mean. can stay on that dude. I'm going I'm to do some, uh, I don't know, some gangster uh, suspenders or something. You know? I think I ain't to like give myself like a t- custom tailor suit, you know what I mean? Like right? I, what I call another fuckboy suit, right? Because that's what uh-huh. I wear. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I can't like that, right? Because I'll muffin top the fuck out of it, even if I don't want to, even if it's my Man. side. Yeah. You know, no. the, minute, the minute I sit down, it's like uh, you know those Pillsbury dough uh containers when they bust open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's damn. me when I'm sitting down. That's me when I sit nah. down. Every nah, time. man. Oh yeah. No, nah, yeah, that's I, why you it, gotta unbutton the top button ahead of time. Just don't even worry about it. I know you gotta be smooth with it too. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, man, it, it uh for the Barney Rubbles of the world, uh, I, I, I'm right out there with you also. Uh, I, t- I, I tell you what makes us better, though. You know, yeah, we may not be able to, uh, to rock the shirts uh, the way the, uh, the, these, uh, uh, the, these youngins... These hard Slender bodies, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. These, <laughs> the, the, what, 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 is that what they used to call them back? The like hard bodies. I feel like hard yeah. body, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can't, we, nope. I can't do it like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm soft body. Yeah, no, soft no, no. body. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that because we it's, it's hard bodies. Now we're big backs. That's what they call big backs. The, oh, is that what it is? Big backs. Oh, damn. What, that actually that's sounds what, worse. It. it does I'll sound worse. Right? Silver back. Yeah, I'll no, take silver yeah. back. Don't call me a big back. Now no, I feel like I'm. Like, no, I should do not. That is <laughs> right. that is what the speech was saying. Like, Doing like oh, the thick you neck. Back, I'm like, all right, all right. All right I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I, I was going somewhere with that, but uh, what I what I will say is, you know, what makes us better is uh, that we got us a uh, <clears throat> 1999. <laughs> Then in a super chat out here from Man Eater because uh, out here hooking us up. You yeah. rounded up to twenty to celebrate twentieth episode. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I fucking love this room. I, every time I hey guilty pleasure when I see like a uh, super chat or something from Man Eater, I just look at Robo's face. Like he doesn't say when he licks his lips. There. He's like yeah. He's like he's like he's like wait a minute. Oh, that's, uh... Yeah, keep giving that money. Yeah, he's, the like, one, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, Sky. Hey, the, one no. T- no. the one time he's no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> ah, I can sing along, but I'll be <laughs> That's one time he was like, <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, I could not show it. It was actually from before I had opened the, hey. uh, the, uh, the social ninja, uh, to be able to see it, but I, but. The love, it's hearted, so it, it, it's real. Um, <laughs> uh, we also got another one here from uh, New Money Baby, the third super chat here on the live stream, which is, yeah, that, that, that's a thing of beauty right there. It says, what's good? My favorites, uh, Thursday stream. So, look, look at that. You know, so you know what that means? So not only are we the live stream that runs Saturdays, we're, we're going to, we're going to, I'm telling you now, I'm calling it. We're going to start being the, live stream that runs Thursdays too. I have it on good authority. There are some people who even changed their uh, streaming date uh, as a result of us as well. So Yeah, this is one that Cypher oh, just started streaming and he says like, he can't do Thursday. Kid. He cannot miss we've even had some people change to our day hoping to catch some of our uh, uh catch some of our love so i mean yeah, yeah. like i said it, it's good to be it's good to have influence it's, it's good to 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 be a <clears throat> nerd yeah, not just of the culture but uh you know <laughs> we we, we got the culture um so Let's uh yeah 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 yeah, they, yeah they, <laughs> no bullshit I didn't notice this until Carter pointed it out to me he actually specifically showed me a channel who changed their stream to be just before us on Saturday on the same days Thursday and yeah. Saturday <laughs> oh and Thursday and Thursday Man, like, to, they try to you said just before yeah like they they like trying to get on before so that way like you know, maybe. Anyone that, because you know, you know, obviously there's gonna be some crosstalk. Yeah, maybe yeah. people who are fans of them would just stay with them so they get those, uh, get those oh, numbers. Oh, see, and, see, that's a dice roll. I would have done it. I would have yeah. done it the other way. I would have yeah. said, no, you need to. You, you, you obviously never been wakeboarding, which is cool. Um, <laughs> me neither. Uh, but 
<laughs> but you're supposed to use the wake of of the people who's the boss, right? And mm-hmm. in this case, obviously, the 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 blur without fear verse is the boat. Yeah. Everybody else needs to like. I I would set up a right after because people are already on yeah. stream. Like maybe I can get some of them crumbs. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> well, not the crumbs. Not the crumbs. No, nah, I, I you know, honestly, I think it's cool. I actually think it's cool because you know what? Um, it, it's good to know that people like it, it's you know, regardless of how you slice it. Uh, mm-hmm. it's always good to be uh uh to recognize that you are seen. You know, sometimes you forget that. You know, maybe yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 not so much a, an ego boost as is a confidence uh, uh, boost. Uh, I think of it that way. Um, it lets okay me know to, that people it's care. Okay to flex. It's okay to flex. It is, you know. But I, the see thing is, I know me. I don't like you know a lot of a lot of y'all in the chat. Y'all know y'all know my my upbringing. Um, y'all know that uh, I I grew up a kid who used to go to Memphis wrestling. You know, on the weekends, uh, get up in the morning, watch it on Saturdays, go to the Coliseum, uh, watch Jerry the King Lawler, who at the time I did not know was a whole problematic entity in and of himself. But, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, But, you know, that was was before. It was young Blur without fear. He didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I watched so much wrestling that I I know what can happen when one lets the, uh, uh, the ego run wild so we're not going to do that uh we're, 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 we're the script on you yeah exactly. <laughs> the producers will say we're gonna calm you down a little bit yes <laughs> <laughs> see i'm trying to be funny but i'll tell you i did see a tweet uh the other day that was like like showed like a, a scene or something and, and like somebody tweeted something about like man this is crazy i can't believe he, he took the belt yada 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 and someone's like i don't understand how you can get this excited when you know it's fake and I, I go, I go, this dude's going to be really upset when he finds out about movies. Right? <laughs> like, oh, my, oh, my God. His whole world's going to be shattered. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh. it's, probably, it's probably the same dude that, uh, that tweeted that one day he saw the, the leaks of the Logan and uh, Wolverine fight. Yes. Yeah. And he goes like, this looks so fake. Look how slow they fight. I'm like, huh. Somebody who's gonna tell them? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, like it, it, it's it's you know what? Sometimes you you know that is why a lot of times on like Twitter, I kind of had to 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 teach myself to do this. Is when I see somebody say something that's really stupid. That like I'm like, man, let me set this person straight. It's like you know what? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that anymore because for one, that's what they want you to do. A lot of times, mm-hmm. like, like to be fair, sometimes it's genuine stupidity. Like, it's genuine, mm-hmm. like, weapons-grade stupidity. But, like, other... Uh, I would say more often than not... Case in point. Perfect example. Um, someone, when I... I, th- I forget exactly what it was I was even tweeting about. I'm... Oh! Um... God, I don't remember what it was, but it, it was it was some it wasn't even anything important. Let's just go ahead and put it like that. But someone mm-hmm. came in and asked a question as if they were asking in good faith. So when I answered that and they realized that, OK, this person's engaging with me. Now, let me do the the uh, uh, the heel turn where like now I've revealed that. I'm the bad guy and now I'm going to be mm-hmm. a troll. Like, like, like I, I've, I've seen people do that shit too. So it's just kind of like, you know, you, you don't really right. win. Like, like it's a very true set. When you, when you lie in the mud with pigs, you get dirty, just like the pig. So just sometimes yeah. it's better to take the moral high road. You won't get any engagement that way. You won't get any clicks that way, but you know what? Sometimes your peace of mind is better for it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, so real quick though, uh, mm-hmm. I had my first, well, officially my first robo moment while well, I'm peacefully scrolling through to Twitter. Mm-hmm. And, I saw, and I came across a tweet that said, I'm tired of you guys trying to redefine history. My Hero Academia was the anime that revolutionized and popularized anime in the West. Now, oh, <laughs> any other day, I want to go past it. Like, Dumb Being man. a Westerner. <laughs> and, and then I go back, I was like, and I just replied, you know what? I'm surprised this tweet is not, has been deleted. 
No. Nah. And then somebody came in like, first of all, you just ignore Blasi Bob. was like, okay, so we're gonna ignore the Roni Kanchas, the Yu Yu Hakusho, the Dragon Ball Z, the Sailor Moons. Uh, I could keep going. The Naruto's. We're just gonna go straight into my hero. And then yeah. I ca- and I caught myself like, oh my god. The timelines are converging again. Welcome. I'm, I'm Welcome. him. <laughs> you know, see, 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 Crowley cipher has dumb shit. Oh, no, no, he's like, no, he's like, no, (laughs) no, see, no, see, this is what you do. This is what you do. And I was hyped. Last thing, I felt (laughs) emotions. Usually I get bored and move on. I was ticked off, as my people will say. (laughs) What do you do, Ernie? What do you do? (laughs) Oh, no, see, this is what you see. So here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. This this is this is my way to deal with people like that Uh is I don't quote tweet them i do not reply to them i screenshot what they say and then respond to it now to some people that would seem like a bitch move but no to me it's not because i don't want to reply to that person because well for one especially if it's a situation where they're not getting much engagement anyway i don't want to help them in that regard uh, and then for two, I don't quote tweet them because, well, for one, I don't want to have a conversation with them. Well, you signal I, boost them. What's happening? Yeah, 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 because yeah, that's what happens. If you reply, you signal boost. If you quote tweet, you signal boost. I mean, and technically, if you screenshot them, yeah, you're signal boosting them just the same because, like, you're you're showing what they said. But a lot of times, yeah. what I do is sometimes I don't even show the name of the person that said it. Like sometimes mm-hmm. I'll just take what they said and then just talk about it. And if I do, it's like, usually most of the time, most people aren't even going to fucking look, but right. it's just like, for me, it's like it, also, if it's someone who decides, Oh, I'm going to take this down because like, I don't want people to realize I said some dumb ass shit. It's like, no, 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 here it is. It's, it's, it's here in perpetuity pimp. Um, right. and a lot of times it's also in the case of like, if I get blocked or, uh, whatever, I was like, okay, well I'm still going to have a fucking tweet. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't, like, I don't like to signal like, boost people like that. Twitter, Twitter accounts. I'm like, but you can't block me. <laughs> I, got like, I got like six accounts. Dude, okay, so let me tell you something. I don't know if you, yeah, I don't want to get off into the weeds on this. I'm just gonna say there's a YouTube channel I recently started watching, um, and uh, it's, it's a it's a political uh, uh, YouTube channel, but um, basically they were taking. I don't want to talk about them like it's some kind of a secret. Anyway, they're called the Vanguard. But point of the matter is they were looking at somebody's tweets and they're like, oh, wait, we can't pull up on this account. Uh, we got to I got I got to I got to log out and come in on my on my on my burner account. Uh, <laughs> they say because I'm blocked. And I was like, damn, it really do be like that out here. Do it right? like I've never had that experience. Like, the, like, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been blocked, but there's no one who I want to read a tweet from who I've been blocked by or that I need to uh-huh. like a lot of the time. So it's like. Um, like, 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 who, like, what, what, am I going to report on something Grace Randolph said? No. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, we, we got, we got, we got stuff. We got, we got stuff and things. Um, a lot of crazy stuff has happened. Uh, we got the, well, for one, uh, Prime Video put Fallout out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh, though we're going to talk about it. Like it's going to be spoiler free. Cause it literally just came out. And yeah. I think of the three of us, I'm the only one who watched all of it somehow. You watched all of them. Uh, all late episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, I watched all eight hours. <laughs> I watched, uh, well, it's, technically it's eight and a half, but, uh, cause the first episode is like an hour and some, like, I think it's like yeah. an hour, 15 yeah. hour, 20, something like that. Uh, but I watched the first two episodes last night and I watched the rest today when I got up. So, Dang. uh, yeah. Uh, it's so good, isn't it? I, I've, yeah. only, I've seen the first two. I've seen the first two. Um, yeah. I have to, I have to watch, uh, I have to watch them. Man Eater's a huge fallout fan with me. Mm-hmm. So I can't watch them on my own. <laughs> it's okay. And I, I didn't. I didn't finish them all already. You know she's gonna come in that room, and bust you upside your head if you did. Uh, right. Yeah. Man, if you're in the chat, can you please do that? I actually want to see it for educational purposes. <laughs> uh, oh, oh I saw yeah. The first forty seconds. I lied. Like five minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? It's okay because it's spoiler free, so you don't even have to know. 
uh, uh, you know, the whole episode to 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 be included. Um, mm. But I will say here is uh, we got us here a four ninety nine super chat, and also this is a good enough time to mention this uh, as any. <clears throat> Excuse me, moi. Uh, we are uh, gonna you know because yeah they brought it up. Uh, Stomp Ten says, "What's up, guys? Love the combo you have with the Red Flag crew." Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Uh, I think I put it. Uh, I think I talked about it on Twitter. I haven't put it in the Discord yet. I've been really weird about posting stuff on YouTube because I have learned a. Um, I have learned there's a system. Uh, to YouTube. Mm. And it's that uh, you don't want to post a lot of shit on YouTube in a single day. So mm -hmm. uh, I've been very careful not to like overload uh, the YouTube notification system. What's but the uh, three. 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 Yeah, I think you get one community post. Uh, I think the community post is separate. I might be wrong on that, but I know three videos is the most you can post before YouTube will stop giving notifications to your subscribers for the day That's um it. yeah you can post as many times as you want but right. after that three you're at the mercy of the algorithm right <laughs> that's why I, <laughs> that's also me well i was about to say that's why i told you that thing about turning off notifying subscribers sometimes yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, also yeah. another reason why i brought it up but yeah and if i'm not mistaken live streams are included in that three video uh notification <laughs> thing um, and, and that's my, at least I think so. I'm not 100 percent on that. I could be wrong, but uh, the last time I checked it, that's what I remember seeing. But uh, I, long and short of it is, uh, I did uh, actually just this past Saturday. Uh, I was on the waving the red flag uh, YouTube channel uh, on their podcast, and uh, we were talking about uh, uh, Invincible. Uh, Invincible season two, as well as uh, some other uh, stuff, kind of uh, tangentially uh, related. But we should uh, have them come on uh, Nerds of Culture. Yeah, I, I, that's one of those things. I'm kind of I'm kind of working out how that would go because it's so many of us and so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it well, would be, be one a, of those. Be a party. Well, it would be a party. Well, <laughs> Hmm? Whoever's the version of Cy whoever's the version of Cipher can just set it out. We can have our own little thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say, uh, it, it's well, I, yeah, it's three of them, three of us. It'd be one of those like the logistics of it, like for me, like just saying, you know, uh, not saying it wouldn't be fun. It would be fun, but um, I know for me, just from a trying to uh, host it it would be a logistical nightmare to me. Like I would be very stressed out. I don't know why yeah, I would. It just, it just, that's how my, that's how my head works. But we'll talk um, offline, but I'll tell you what, if we ever do mm -hmm. it, I'll host it. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, you would be, have to be moderator. Cause I'm not, I'm not yeah. that cool. Calm and collected for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I will say, uh, for those, uh, who may or may not know, uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, it is actually up here. Let me, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, it's actually up on YouTube right now. Uh, you can see it right here. Actually, hey, look, that, that, that's that's us. That's that's that's, that's the me. Hey, hey. hey, that's me right there. I, I know that I, guy. I, I'm that guy. I, know that um, guy. I, I, I will go ahead and say I did feel a little bad when we were doing the show because there was a part of it where I feel like maybe I was just kind of goofing off. And I, I didn't realize what, I didn't realize what direction we were going in, <laughs> and we started off with uh, I I I said I don't I don't feel it was like super wild problematic, but I I said something that probably came off incredibly weird uh, at a point, but I don't I don't really care. Uh, it was one of those. So what is like, it? No, this is this is the opportunity to set the set it straight to set right the record here. straight. <laughs> <laughs> so an apology video. It, no, it's it's at the very beginning of like they. It actually got you know. Uh, it, it got clipped from the video, like from where it actually happens, and put it at the very what? beginning. But uh, no, it was a part we were getting ready to go into talking about the invincible character, uh, Anissa. And for for those, if you probably couldn't tell just based on the the thumbnail alone, we were going to be talking about Anissa at some point. Uh, uh, a character that's right yeah, and, and you look at the title, it's you know, you look at you know that, yeah, there you go, oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um. There's a part we get ready to talk about Anissa, and I I think I I think I rubbed 
<laughs> I think I rubbed Eddie the wrong way <laughs> with how I responded to it. Uh, but but it, it, it's all good. It's all good. It, it's all been talked out. But uh, bro, but yeah. don't, 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 I'm, you over here give me blue balls. What did you oh, say? Oh, 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 <laughs> no. Okay, hold so on, hold, on, hold on. Before you say anything, uh, you know the story be uh, of Anissa and uh, Mark, right, uh, Robo? Anissa and Mark. No. Uh, in the uh, invincible himself. Invincible. Uh, yeah. You talking from the comic from the show? Yeah, from the from comic. comic. No. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. Well, the, the long and short of it is uh with, without going into the comic part of it, basically, well actually I, you can kind of really can't talk about it without talking about that part of it. It is a spoiler. A for, yeah, spoiler. for the context, basically there's a there's an essay that happens in the comic that involves the two characters. And uh, we were talking about whether or not that was something that was going to be dealt with on the show because they have been making a lot of changes from the uh -huh. comics to the show. And yeah. when we were talking about <laughs> Anissa, one of my first remarks was like, oh, yeah, she can get it. But like I wasn't trying to like dismiss the fact that you know, it was right. a, there was a problem. I was just saying that like. It she's was one bad. of those. Right. Yeah, I was like, she's a baddie. I was yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, like if we, if I was in that universe and she came down and said, "Hey, g give up the seed," and I would be like, you wouldn't have had to have like done the thing. No, yeah, no, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, girl, go ahead and get it. Uh, yeah. I'd be like, go, go, go ahead, girl, go ahead and get your, uh, yeah, 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 get, get yeah, your, yeah. get your you. propers, girl. I can, get your propers. I can see yeah. how that. Uh, I can see how that kind of might, might might come off the wrong way, but I feel you. Yeah, if it you're was just talking about. You, <laughs> you know, I was talking about doing. just for me, just for me, yeah. not for not what for. What you weren't Mark. doing is like that thing that people do with hot teachers, like lucky kid. You oh know what no, I mean? like, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but, but I can yeah. see how it could be misconstrued. I yeah, feel you. I think. Well, also, I had recently because I think I talked about this on uh, on some streams before. I had recently gone back and reread Invincible. For the first time in a long time, actually. You got time. So, well, I mean, I also have three big ass uh, uh, compendiums of it. So, yeah, that too. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I tell you what, you, you know how I do it? I, I, I've said this on the Blur Cave. This is a secret. You want to get, you want the secret to reading a shit ton of comics and still having time to do other shit? Yes. Read them while you shit. <laughs> yeah, but then when did I play Marvel Snap, though? So, yeah, oh, I mean, that's fair. Well, there's no Marvel Snap. I was about to say, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> is that, is that I don't have longest it. run on the game? That that is how I have that's how I've gotten to volume eight of uh Go Go Loser Ranger as quickly as I have. It's because I read them when I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, I take it in the bathroom. That's what's I, up. I've that's been reading uh I've actually I've read like hundred and fifty chapters of, of Demon Slayer and fifty some odd chapters of Go Go Loser Ranger, just all thanks to the to the bathroom. So you oh. got so you so when your feet fall asleep is because you're you're uh, I'm reading. You're not trying. You're not trying to you know get to the next uh, uh, thing on on Marvel Snap. You're no. getting the next chapter. I'm getting the next yeah. chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like a oh like because basically what I'll do when I'm reading I'll be like Ooh, okay how many I'm like man I'm kind of at this part I kind of want to get another issue in. Yeah, let me go ahead and get this real quick. This will this will take me like five ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> my Nintendo Switch was exclusive, exclusively in the bathroom. So I mean, that's, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, that's fair. I, I, I suck because it was causing friction in my relationship because we're like, we gotta go out. I was like, I'll be out there in a minute. I'm like, oh, okay, well, one more. No, I ain't. Out here flexing. I reached infant on the toilet. Let me Bruh. tell you something. My my little catchphrase on the thing, and it'll be that way permanently. Yeah. Is, I'm on the toilet, <laughs> and I, I picked that because 99.99 percent .99 of the time, unless I'm watching something on TV that I'm like mm. you know half half invested in, 99.9. I've I've been playing steady. I still pay 99.99 a month. I know a lot of people fall off. I know you don't play anymore, any, but I stay on it. I'm about a I'm about a 70 to 80 guy. I've never been the 90s. I've never been infinite, but for some reason. It doesn't even piss me off anymore. I'm not even trying. I'm just playing. I'm killing time till my feet fall asleep. And, oh, I, yeah. and then I turn the bidet on and I go. But uh, <laughs> that's actually the, the, the uh, that's what everybody know I got the, a bidet in my house. I, I don't, I, the the oh, title wait. that I'm playing on the toilet that was the last title I unlocked and it, it is still the one I had equipped when I stopped playing. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. I feel I'm you. actually surprised you're still playing it. I am too, what? actually. Yeah. Mm. Don't ask well, me it's, a perfect, it's a perfect ADHD game. You know what? I, you know, I take that back. I am not surprised why he's playing it. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. that you said that, I'm like, ADHD of course. Um, like, if you're not trying to win. Okay, yeah. If you're you just trying to, like, like I, pass time. 
I'm just I'm just playing. Like, oh man, I got him. Like, oh man, now I'm back in the sixties. It's not frustrating to me anymore because I, yeah. I remember us talking about it, and that was kind of like that was kind of your thing. Like, the fucking new metas come out, and then it's bullshit. Yeah. And then you got to fucking unlearn shit. Then they then they nerf stuff, and it's like I can see how that's frustrating mm. when you're playing the game. Like, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to get to infinite yeah. one day. Like, goddamn. But me, I I gave up on winning. <laughs> I stay in the seventies. And I'm just playing to play at this point. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I had made that choice. Like, I was like, yeah, you know, I can make it to 80 pretty regular. Mm-hmm. But then, like, it, but you know what it was? It, here's the real problem. The real problem, and I'm going to address this, this right here because I, I, I want to make mm-hmm. a, a very strong point. Um, for me, this is what it became. It became one of those deals where everyone was literally just playing the meta. Like whatever, mm-hmm. like like you could like you could literally set a clock to it. If Cozy Snap or Alexander Kocha or whoever else that people watch came, or or what was the, what was the boy's name? Uh, um, uh, there was some other kid uh, that that yeah, that, yeah. that uh, you know makes videos about decks and stuff. Whatever deck was the hotness, of, like whatever, ooh, this is the deck that'll get you to infinite. Like everybody would start playing it, and it became to the point where it's like I'm not even playing cards that I enjoy anymore. I'm playing cards to either A, play the meta so I have a, a fighting chance, or I'm going out of my way to find a deck that can combat the uh, uh, the meta. And it became like one of those things where it's like, well, now I'm not even playing cards I actually enjoy playing. And I was like, I don't like playing this way. And I was like, you know what? There was also the issue that I was spending way too much money on that fucking game, and I was like, "Yeah, I remember. I was like, yeah." I was like, "No." I, I'm like, I was like, "I'm He's done." Like, yeah, I got that ninety nine 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 package. I'm like, "God damn!" Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Or like, or on fucking variants and shit. I'm like, "Oh man, I really no, want yeah. that fucking variant." Oh, yeah. oh I want that yeah, variant. Yeah. And like, I've I been wanted to good rep- at that. I've been sticking to nine ninety nine like yeah. a month. I, I don't even get the extra fifteen dollar one now. Mm. Um, I will say this much: they added a new function since you've been gone. Yeah. Where you can pick a card, like any card. Um, and you're like, I want a card with that. And you press the button that says make a deck. And it uses like uh, like data on here are some good decks that include this card. And it'll build one for you just immediately. Huh. So I don't even you don't, I don't even go look at YouTube. If, I, if a new card yeah. comes down, I'll come in, make deck. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Okay. Right now I'm playing uh, uh, War Machine. War Machine is my favorite deck. And, and that's mm. pretty dope. And some people are beating that, you know? Yeah. And so... Yeah, I think I think I know what you're talking about, but I haven't even I don't even watch the YouTubes anymore. Oh, I, I just yeah. make a deck now. No, I, I wasn't even watching them for that. Like it was more just like a well, let me see what bullshit I'm gonna have to be out here combating. Right, right, uh, but so. no, to 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 answer Suri G. Uh, so like here's the thing. I'm one of those weirdos, not that simps for Anissa. I'm one of those weirdos that like I thought Anissa was such a cool character mm. when she first showed up. So yeah. when the moment happens that everyone's freaking out about, it made me angry because mm. now it's like you've taken this character that I thought was really cool and now you have made her so problematic that I feel like a fucking shit heel for mm. liking this character in the first place. And then nothing. Huh? That scene is that scene is hard to read too. Oh no no, it's, it's hard it, 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 like it's Yeah. It's it, it, I mean, it it's very difficult to read. It is so well, and it just it's one of those. It, you know what it is? It it, it remind. It's not the same thing. It's not the exact same thing. But I'm just saying the energy of it. It reminds me of when Civil War Two came out, and it's like now you are you have put me in a position now where or like I, Iron Man makes you a weirdo. Well, no, no, no. Liking Captain Marvel makes me feel like a weirdo. Cause it's oh, so, the yeah, comic, the, the, the comic, got it, got yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like in that one, it's like, well, I was like, because, because, because that's where, like, when you find most people who don't like Captain Marvel, that's where that hatred comes from. It comes from Civil War Two. But the thing is, I was like, she was. It's like she was okay. Well, that as well. But like, but people who hate her because of the comics, it comes from Civil War Two, and it's mm-hmm. like I'm always like, <sighs> I was like, y'all wrote. Carol so far and away out of character <laughs> that is like now I'm sitting here having like I have to look like an asshole if I try to defend that she is a good character uh, as a, uh, you, even, like after the fact 
And it's like, and, and I always tell people, think about this one thing. Has she acted like it ever since? And it's like, no. It was uh, like she was literally written that way to suit a to to suit a story arc. Right. And well, here's, yeah. here's what I think it does though. And and I think this is this is applicable in, in the real world. Mm -hmm. Um and I and I think it's something that that we all kind of have trouble with. And it's this mm -hmm. idea of the um the the idea of a multifaceted person, right? Yeah. Um Obama says some shit a couple years ago. I'm not a huge fan of Obama, but not to get Neither into that. Neither am I. It's, uh, <laughs> for different reasons than conservatives, though. Well, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's um, – the he says something that got him in trouble, and, it, and let me tell you something. I was like, that's fucking – he's right. He's right. Yeah. He said people are not comfortable um, – understanding that there are different parts of an individual and some of those parts might be good and some of those parts might be bad. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like people want these, these heroes in their head to be like, this is how shit is. And what I really like about modern storytelling is that that shit doesn't work anymore. People don't want to yeah. see that. So now we're getting movies where, where the evil person is now sympathized with i mean you know e they even dared show the the series Dahmer and and said no you know what we're also going to show in this movie not just him killing people not yeah. just him targeting black and queer people which is we're gonna do but we're gonna also show how he was fucked up as a kid mm -hmm. and then people got mad at that literally and i was confused i'm like why are you mad that's that happened though yeah, yeah but you're trying to make it sympathetic no 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 you're feeling sympathetic. Yeah. You're mad that you feel sympathetic because yeah. you wanted a perfect villain. You wanted to hate him. And you still can, by the way. Yeah. I don't think that fucking, uh, 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 you know, gives, you know, makes anything okay. But humans are humans. And so when you sit there and you go, wow, look at that dude. What a fucking great dad. Yeah. What a like oh look at the way he cares for the, the his dog. What an awesome husband. Look at look at him in this community. This is great. This is awesome. Oh man, um, he fucking uh 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 he he, he says the R slur. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, now you're a piece of shit. You know what I mean? It's like, like yeah. Well, there are aspects of people that are bad, and not every aspect is be good. And I think that's what happened with Carol Danvers. It's like mm -hmm. for the most part, we see her, and in this particular part, you know what I mean? Like we could say the writer fucked it up, and and that's out of character. Yeah. But if you want to kind of like be headcanon about it and be in the meta, it's like we could also say that. In this moment, she picked the wrong side, and humans do that shit all the time. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and I still like her because before that, she fucking was awesome, and after that, she's awesome. I disagree with her here, yeah. but, but, you know. And yeah, yeah, and that's kind of how I look at it. Like, that, that's ultimately how I accept it. But, like, it's just mm -hmm. one of those, I was like, man, y'all really just made it. Right. Like, y'all right. y'all set this motherfucker back, like, 30, 40 years. God damn. They George like, R. Martin her without killing her. <laughs> right. No, they did. Like, it was literally like red wedding levels of character assassination. Right. But no, I, but I totally agree with you on the nuance because it, one of my favorite uh, tabletop RPG books of all time has this, uh, this statement in it about how to come up with compelling characters for your player characters, the people you actually know who are playing the game with you to create these compelling characters for them to interact with. And one of the things that was said, and it's something I, I tell people all the time, and it's something that has stuck with me, uh, it is something I use in my own personal projects and writings, is that the hero who saved the kingdom from the evil dragon and the merciless evil sorcerer who lives in the Great Tower, that's the, it, it's, it's that conundrum. The evil, merciless wizard who lives in you know, the, the Great Tower, evil some bitch. He enslaves people. He, you know, he, he, he subjugates an entire civilization of people. Uh, he's, he's, he's specious. He's a, he's a racist on top of that as well. And he is all about committing acts of genocide. But he's really nice to dogs. Like he, he he gets along better with animals than he does people. So he treats animals, specifically animals who don't have any agency for themselves. He treats them particularly well. You take the hero who saved the kingdom from the evil dragon. 
he's the hero. He's the guy who's going to save everybody. He is brave. He is, uh, you know, he he's he's smart. He's charming. He's witty. You know, he he's the guy that when you see him, you know everything's going to be okay. But when he's not saving the world, he goes home and he drinks a lot and he mercilessly beats his wife and kids. It, 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 it's it's kind of that. It, you know, like, you know, no one, you know, the face, you know, there, there's public face and then there's private face. Uh, mm -hmm. There's who you are, how the world perceives you, but there's also, you know, maybe who you are behind the scenes that people don't get to see all the time. Like, you mm -hmm. know, and that's, yeah, it, it's the same way. I feel. No one is perfect. I, I like, what was it? Uh, when, when we were talking about the, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the Ed Pisker stuff, uh, and more specifically, when I was talking about it on Twitter, there was someone who came at me and said, I bet you have some skeletons in your closet. And my Probably. response was, yeah, yeah. I do. And I if said, they came I, out, yeah. I wouldn't be like, fuck you all, I'm killing myself yeah. now. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. I'd be like, I mean, w would I probably disappear for a while until I could get my shit together? Probably. I would probably be mm -hmm. very, like, reclusive for a bit. Uh, can, oh, hey, uh, someone just said in the chat here, right here. Uh, Chris Benoit, a name who is, guy was one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Dude was a fucking genius in the ring. The dude is, he is literally one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And yet... He is a murderous bastard who murdered, uh, and this isn't even allegedly, I don't even have to hit the button for this shit. He murdered his wife and one of his children. Now, CTE was largely to blame for a lot of that. He was you know, losing it, uh, but it was just, it was the... And yeah, I don't want to make excuses for his behavior. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, there are sometimes you encounter people in life, you know, that you know, people who you look up to. Yeah, no one's perfect. No one's squeaky clean. God knows I'm not. I know I if 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 someone, you know, and I don't recommend anyone do this, but if someone could like go back in time and just you know, look through my life, I am sure I've said and done some really ignorant shit. I mean, no Chris Benoit shit. I hope. No, 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 <laughs> no. Nothing on a nothing on I'm a Chris Benoit. Way. He said, like, he said, like, like, kill him. Set Bibles by the bodies on their beds. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, oh, he did. Oh wait, wait, what's oh. up with Ultimate Warrior? Oh, he was My a and, huh? racist and uh, homophobic. Was he? Yeah, racist and homophobic. Nah, the actor was. Ultimate mm -hmm. Warrior wasn't. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing, though. The it's character. funny. You, no, no, it's funny you say that because you know what his actual legal name was? Huh. Warrior. He actually legally changed his name to that. So, no, he. Damn. So, yes, Damn. him. He would actually go to. He, he actually would like speak at like uh, conferences and stuff like that. Like, he was very like alt right. Like, if he was still what? alive today, I guarantee you like Donald Trump. To the max, huh? Yeah, and, and yeah, and like like when all that Dylan Mulvaney shit happened, he would have been right next to Kid Rock. <laughs> he would have been right. Uh, next I mean, to I'm not surprised by yeah. that, but I remember liking that. He was like next to like the regular, like you had you know Macho Man and 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 Hulk and and you know Andre the Giant and shit. Ultimate Warrior was like my favorite because he was just like like an yeah. animal. With his, like, he was super jaggy. He had them, yeah. them strings around his biceps. I'm like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, he, he was nobody's favorite like, in the ring, I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody liked I don't, I don't think, think I don't, anyone I think liked working with him. I too little to like, understand like, heels mm. and, and all that shit, so I don't, I don't even know what role No, and I mean like behind the like, scenes. Like behind the scenes. Oh, like like see, actually like in the locker room, shit like that. Sad reminder to never meet your heroes. Ooh, fun, fun story before we get into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah shoot. So, so who's the dude who uh, played? Um, God damn! Every time I want to fucking recall something, my brain's like, "Nah, not today, homie." Nope, you're not. You don't remember this name now. Um, the uh, <laughs> Black Duke Star Wars. Oh, John Boyega. Nah, 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 nah. Old Star Wars. Oh, Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Williams. Okay. Mm. So Billy D. Williams. Uh, me I think and I Judah, know what you're talking about. <laughs> bro, oh, me and wait. Judah, we we go to Comic Con in Hawaii. <laughs> Uh, Billy D's there. Aww. We're like, this is dope. This is so dope. Met him, right? 
it, meaning in the line, you know, he right. signed a, he signed a comic for me. Uh, didn't shake my hand. He's like, oh, I don't shake my, I don't shake hands. Uh, but he, but he, I, this is not part of the whole story, but he goes like this. He comes <laughs> up, he's like, yeah, yeah, but he had a fist. He had like a, a closed fist like this. He's like, oh, hey, uh, and I'm like, oh my, and I thought he was coming in for a fist bump. So I come like, oh, okay, my bad. And he's like, no way. And then the, and the, he doesn't, he doesn't touch. And I'm thinking, he's old as fuck. He's, you don't need to be touching people all day. I totally was fine with it. Right. Panel, panel afterwards. Um, uh, I go, I'm in the audience. Yeah. Middle aged, uh, a middle aged black dude. Uh, probably about my age now, but was older then. <laughs> um, cause I'm probably like maybe like 36, 37 when this app was going down. Yep. Mm-hmm. And this guy goes up there and he <laughs> says, uh, Mr. Bill D. Williams, I just wanted to tell you, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, you, I don't know if you know this, but you were an inspiration to young black men, black nerds, uh, during a time where it was not, a, it was not cool to, to like this stuff. Um, you were cool and you were in the, in the, you know, da, 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 da. And it says, I, uh-huh. and he says, I guess my question is, um, oh, by the way, is that his, his response to that? I was like, oh, okay. Well, do you have a question? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, I was like, already. I'm like, ah. And he goes, he goes, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I just want to know, did you know, did you know the kind of impact you had on young black men, you know, black nerds, uh, lives at the time, you know, to to have somebody in our in our stuff to to look up to. This motherfucker. He goes. <laughs> Oh, I really don't look at all. I don't think about all that like that. Uh, and, uh, I just act, you know. I just go out there and I do a film, and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. You know, I'm like, <laughs> whatever. I never saw. Had, he took that I never he took saw somebody walk away from the mic so dejected looking. Just oh, kind of wow. like the guy looked up at him, and this guy had to been like like in his forties, mm-hmm. and and he looks up and he's like, oh, thank thank you. And he looked, and he, as he walked away, he's like looking at the ground, and I'm like, "Fuck this dude, man! Like, what a piece of shit!" Yeah, I was just like, "Like, yeah." I, ever since, ever since that, that was, I, I knew because that's the real him, right? Well, I mean, he don't even give a fuck to put on a character. He's he's, he's just there to get a, get a couple more paychecks before he yeah. dies. And uh, well, the shit he said can, on Bill Maher the other day. Oh, uh, well, missed it. Yeah, he was like, he basically, he basically said. I don't give a fuck about blackface. He said, "I think everybody should be able to do bla- uh, blackface." That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He he was yeah. like he was like he, he said he said white people should be able to do blackface. That's basically what he said. Yeah. Exactly. Like he basically yeah. said it so Bill Maher didn't have to say it. But like, but that was basically his stance on. He was like, "Oh, I don't. Yeah, no, dude." He said, he said "No, I thought that was great." He said, "I think he, I think that's great." And I was like, I said, you know what, dude? I said, yeah, this is one of those situations where like the older you get. Maybe maybe it's best to take the advice of Gene Hackman and try the best you can to live in obscurity. Like yeah. let like let yeah. people love you the way they remember you. Yeah, the way they don't, think you are. Yeah. The way they think you are. <laughs> like keep that shit to yo. Well, I mean, he he's old enough now. He don't give a fuck no more. Like he like That's it. Cause, Cause I distinctly remember like back in the day, like you would kind of hear him say something a little bit different. But now, like he's good and grown, he's old. He knows he ain't got much longer. Like he, he, we lost OJ Simpson this week. He probably next. Yeah, he's close behind. He's yeah, close like behind. that shit reminds me of Michelle Rodriguez though. Uh, when like, <laughs> oh, video, car, and she says like, um, like I don't know who the fuck he's just talking about. And they they asked him like, oh, how do you feel about like these black and brown people taking all the superheroes? It's like, yeah, leave their superheroes alone. Why we gotta take their stuff? Who leave said this? Their- I missed it. Michelle Rodriguez. And I was hurt. I was like, damn, bro. It had to be the Dominican shorty. I was damn. Like, she said a couple, she wow. said a couple like, yeah, bro, we're taking her. And I'm like, oh. I'm telling you, man, it's that, it's that, I know Black Poppy. This is, is that energy, man. Is that energy, man? Damn. That's I'm Sammy saying. Sosa. That's Sammy Sosa, man. It's like, <laughs> I saw it, I saw it today. I'll do, I'll do a little quick shameless plug. I, I you know, I finally got a, a little bit of video on, on TikTok to get a little, li- a little bit of love. And it was yeah. all about, um, uh, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, and how we're all the same people based off of yada yada yada, right? Yeah, uh, go check it out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but go, the, uh, do that. but you look at the comments. Bro, 
whole ass people having conversations with me in Spanish because for good reason they think I speak Spanish. So now I'm like, I gotta copy this shit, put it in the translator, <laughs> see what the fuck they're saying to me. <laughs> you know, for shit. You know, you know, then then I gotta put it in Jet GPT so it sounds natural, respond to them in Spanish. Like, you know, it's you know, it's a whole thing. But anyway, uh... this motherfucker. This motherfucker, well, you tell ChatGPT, you'd be like, "No, uh, I, I need this response within 150 <laughs> characters." No, no, and I give you a soft flex. You got 100 comments in that video because oh, 100. I thought you said, "Is it under 100 characters?" I don't know why I thought. Ooh. Um, but but I but this dude, he goes, "Not Cuba, Cuba's not. What are you talking about? Cuba's not a. Uh, he, he said this in Spanish, but he said Cuba's not a colony. Cuba's not. That was a settlement. I'm like." Bro, that no, that's a that's a colony. This is a by the way, not even one of the white Cubans. He's brown as fuck in the picture, and I'm like, he's like, and I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, no, that was a that was a settlement. Um, colony means that you murdered and raped. Do you think it was an abandoned? What do you think happened to the Taino there, like the, the indigenous people there? No, 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 no. We saved them from it. Like, this guy had a whole story in his head. Why Cuba? By the way, he didn't say the, all of He got uh, the Prager U version. He got the Prager yeah, U version exactly, of the story of Cuba. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, did you know that Cuba uh, actually made a vaccine to the smallpox? And did you know that? Did you know they made a hospital? I'm like, what the fuck do you think that has to do with anything? You like, Do you think the British uh, uh, and, the, and, the, and, and the founding fathers of the United States didn't make medicine yeah, while they were enslaving people, you stupid fuck? Like, man, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, it is it is low on my end. I don't know if you want to. I tried bumping him up. I thought it was just me, but somebody else said Chris's audio is low. Oh, like, uh, here, hold on. Let me. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Pull your mic in. Pull your mic in. Pull your mic in. Is it better now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, infinitely better. Infinitely better. Uh, yeah. You you can leave the mic in the shot. It's okay. I I'm, I'm not gonna shame you. Mine ain't in the shot, but that's more well, of a. Mike's smiling. Mike's. <laughs> 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 this is more of where my camera is is why it's not there but yeah uh yeah yeah, yeah. but no uh i guess you know that's a good that's a good a time as any to uh yeah. uh jump into what we need to talk about uh so fallout fallout has happened fallout has come it has gone it is well i mean technically it's still here it didn't go anywhere um, oh, do you actually watch the whole thing can you give it a number rating can I give it a number rating? I tell you what, uh, I'm going to give it... Uh, okay, tell you what, here, here's how we're, how we're going to do it. Uh, we are going to give it... Uh, before I go any further, um, I want to give it nine... Ooh. Nine pit boys out of ten. Damn, same as IGN. Uh, really? Nine they gave it a nine out of ten? They gave it a nine out of ten. Okay, I'm changing I'm my answer. Surprised. It's getting an eight. It's getting an eight point five. Eight eight point five pit boys out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm fucking love. <laughs> well, my my answer might change because I haven't seen it. I've seen two episodes now. Okay, based yeah, yeah, yeah. off of two episodes, I'm gonna give it seven. I'm seven and a half to eight. I'm gonna give it eight. Eight bottle caps out of ten. There you go. Uh, you know, it and and the only reason why. Is I have we haven't got out of act one yet, right? So I'm yeah. sure shit could pick up, shit, shit might happen. I'd be like, this is so dope. Um, I really enjoy the practical effects. Um, I like how they're using practical effects over CGI in a lot of in a lot of places, but also mm -hmm. I think that it, it it gives the danger that I that I've always said. I said CGI is bad when cgi is bad yeah. like people need to stop pretending like practical effects can never be bad we've right. lived through the 80s we know they can be and um like there was one scene where where an individual is going inside the t60 the armor suit right and it's super clear to me and it kind of took me out a little bit but then i just that it's not it. It really there <laughs> well no 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 this was a practical effect i could i, I could tell oh it, oh, it, it, it looks like a toy yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like a straight up toy. Like the thing closed. Yeah. You could tell like him going inside was like it was a cutout. And then the toy closed. And I saw I saw sitting there, I was like, see, this is where they needed a CGI. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. um You know, I, I I'll tell you what I thought they should have done. Uh it's what they mm -hmm. do in the MCU with Iron Man. Uh because mm -hmm. a lot of, I don't know if a lot of people know this. Iron Man that Iron Man has not worn the full suit since Iron Man 2. Uh uh that's the last time he wore 
the full body like Iron Man armor parts at any one point. And then parts of it is uh, CGI. Right. Well, well, no. What they, what he wears now, he wears like, the oh, chest oh, oh. plate, the chest plate, and like maybe the gauntlets. That's mm. it. Anytime, mm. like, that's why, like, a lot of times you go back and watch Civil War, there's a couple of points where, like, it looks a little weird when, like, he, the thing comes on and the helmet comes up, or, like, you can kind of tell that he, he's kind of got the floating head syndrome a little bit with the armor. Um, I kind of wish they'd done something closer to that with the armor in Fallout, but uh, I will say this when it comes to effects, that's kind of where my minus 1.5. Mm. uh comes from it, it, it well actually it comes from a couple of different places but the cg is the bulk of it i'm gonna say my point five is something else that is Spoiler probably related? no it's 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 me nitpicking i, okay, I i'm no, gonna go ahead and say fine. it's me okay. nitpicking uh I'm, I'm picking nits when i put that point five on uh but yeah but yeah um it's the cg is kind of hit or miss in places it's not bad but it's like there are like remember when we talked about Avatar uh -huh. and I said there was some weird moments like just like stuff that like oh ooh that kind of okay. caught me off guard like where where old girl got off the uh the jumped down some invisible block there yeah yep. and it was uh -huh. like it was I was uh -huh. like oh ooh I was like man they that they didn't render that right they they that yeah. needed man that needed like like you know how like when you like okay so you you know DaVinci Resolve Premiere pro stuff yep. like that so like when you're like keyframing some shit like by hand mm -hmm. as opposed to like having like like going in like meticulously just making the edits uh yourself that's what it kind of looked like it reminded me of all those videos you see even videos i've done where like i'm superimposing something over somebody's head and it kind of moves in a weird way like it reminded me of that um there's some moments uh there's a guy that only has one eye and there's some moments where it looks a little weird if you look at him for too long you start seeing the creases in the mm. cg you start seeing the the uh you know the the mistakes and it's that and is i think someone else said this in the chat i don't know if it was sir Yuri g or elite x1 somebody said this but uh uh it looks a little too clean the world looks a little too clean to be to be fallout uh if that it's makes really any clean. sense like, like like literally clean like yeah it, it, it looks too yeah. sanitized like 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 yeah. when you go even like because even in the games the vaults didn't look i mean they, i mean they were cleaner than outside but they still themselves weren't like super clean industrial yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. like there was a yeah it, it lacks that industrial kind of rustiness uh like when they go to philly for the first time this is like man this junk look light like, bright oh, and clean as a motherfucker this look uh, like uh, i said this this is actual philly <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's damn. actual philly like like goddamn like how how does real life philly look more like right, a, a fictionalized right. fallout philly than the Philly in the act, but yeah, that is, the CG, but it's not the biggest issue, but I will say my other issue is I feel like the, the, the show spent way too much time. It actually might make me take my score down a whole point. I might actually take it down a whole point for that. Um, the show spends a lot of time trying to remind you that it's based on a video game. Gotcha. And with the, with the pit boy looking on the pit boys all the time and stuff. No, it, it, not just that. The references. The uh, th there are some moments where there is legit audio taken from the game and inserted into the show. There are some moments mm -hmm. where like some raiders are like just randomly like emoting or saying shit, and it's literally like sound bites from the game. Like like not like oh some an actor came in and said these lines as they were in the game like no it is literally like it is literally the dialogue soundbite literally they took it out of the like someone was editing the show down and they literally said oh i actually have fallout installed on my computer let me go here and rip one of some of these sound files and just put them in the game in, in the in the show um and it's not a bad thing but it's like there were some moments where they did it and it was like it's okay when you can put those easter eggs and references in like organically but it was like one yeah. of those where they were kind of like see Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all so see that one reference right, right there? The Mario movie. <laughs> what you're feeling right now 
Yeah. Just so you know, that's exactly what I felt with watching the Mario movie. Yeah, I just said it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there really? Yeah. No, no, no. I literally just that's said legit. it. So basically, the Mario. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That, that, oh, is that is legit. That is legit. That is legit. Audio's so fucked up. No, no, no. no I think no, you're good. good. It, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, 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 I was just talking at the same time. I didn't hear you. But the, oh, no, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I'm going to say something. I, yeah. I think the the reason why um, I saw that same thing in Mario Brothers and it mm-hmm. bugged me and, it, and right. it didn't y'all. And I promise you that <laughs> once I get to those parts, I'm going to see the same thing. And it's not going to make me feel the way I felt with Mario Brothers. And here's mm. why. My absolute, like, the the how much I love Fallout mm. and what it means right. to me as a, as a gamer. You know what I mean? The joy <laughs> I have. So when I hear those, it's going to be like, oh, shit, that's Fallout. You know what I mean? I don't have that kind of love for Mario. So when Mario was doing it, people who super love, like like Chris, big Nintendo mm. dude, you know what I mean? When, when if somebody like Chris hears it. That's gonna be oh that, shit, they did the thing, you know what I mean? That's why it didn't bother me either. If I don't have a huge love for it, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, okay, Rainbow Road, god damn, I get it, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, um, you sound like my fiance when we went to see the movie, like in the in theater, babe. See, see, okay, what happened was back in the day, Mario was in this construction, and then he was like, <laughs> I, I'm just here to be see Princess Peach do some shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. No, I will feel the same way about Fallout though, because I like I, okay. Admittedly, the only one that I really played to its entirety was New Vegas. Everything. Else I mean, that's that the best unique. one, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 a, that's like a, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, not a hot take. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah that's. Oh, no, I'm not. No, no, no. That wasn't a hot take. What I was gonna say after is a hot take. Was everything that? after that for me was trash. No, yeah, Earth a lot of people say four. Four is probably one of the worst. I mean, Fallout seventy six doesn't really count to me, but if you mm-hmm. want to make it count, then it's definitely the worst. Mm-hmm. Um, Remember, you know, uh, but... listen to Man Eater though. She said, "No Fallout slander. No Fallout slander. No Fallout slander." <laughs> no, like, no, no, hold on. I like say, series more than me. <laughs> I did say no promises because one of the uh, one of the argument that I uh, me and her had on Facebook years ago, right? I think you guys <laughs> weren't even married yet. Was because I say Fallout seventy six is so fucking garbage. Oh damn! He chose violence. That's probably why we were playing it heavy, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I remember, and I was like, "It's trash." And fucking and the duffel bag that it came in. <laughs> so, so here's what I'll say. I think that kind of proves my point, though, because Fallout seventy six as an MMO mm. was not good. It was unbalanced as fuck. PvP was was garbage. Um. The you know the way you're it just there was it's so much just about now playable. it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> how did me and Manny to play into like the level one hundreds? That's how much we love the that world. You know what I mean? It's the same thing when people like play D and D and they get like mm. a D and D product and it's like this isn't that great. But goddamn, I love D and D. So I'm gonna you know it's gonna I'm gonna be able to 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 push through the the garbage. You know? Um, I'm but, no lie, but, Baldur's I'm Gate three was whack. Like if it actually turned out to be whack, that would have been me. I'd have been like, yeah, no, 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 it's man, right. it, it, it's it, it, <laughs> no, man, it, it's still everything does that, you know. <laughs> yeah, that would have been me. I'd have been like, oh no, no, man, you know, it's still yeah, good. Yeah, because I see people ass. do it for Helldiver. Mm-hmm, I people, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I go on Reddit. I'm like, bro, like you guys acting like this is not bad. Like this is not like some cyberpunk release shit. Mm-hmm. You guys are. Oh my God! Yeah, who cares? Games crash all the time. I see you guys love this game too much. You're not holding it accountable. You know what no. I mean? Like this amount of crashes is not okay. Um, but there is one thing I want to say real quick, and I, I actually think this is a good part of the deal. Is Elite X One said that, that he thinks that the vaults are too clean, right? And you mentioned this too. Mm-hmm. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I like it, and here's why. Mm-hmm. Apologist. If you know the lore, you know that every single vault had a different experiment going on. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the vaults was one man filled with a bunch of women. One of the other vaults was one woman filled with a bunch of men. Uh, it was all kinds of different vaults. And in this vault, what... Uh... <laughs> next week. Next week, we'll do spoiler. I'm just mm. saying I think it's by design. Mm. I think it's by design. Well, so how clean that vault is... Is on purpose. Okay, can I can I okay. ask you can I ask you a question, right? Because uh, you, I know about your love for Fallout, 
Skyrim. What is it about these particular this genre of gaming that you enjoy so much? And I'm legit, like legitimate. Immersion. Yeah. Immersion. God, it's Immersion. It's it's like it's like the it's you know what it is. The thing I want you to like, not somebody who like is oh it can take it or leave it, right? Like I feel like y'all like yeah, some of the games I like, some of the games I don't, you know, whatever. Um, but for me, I want you to I want no when you I want you to think of somebody who you've ever met that fucking hates them. Mm -hmm. Hates them. They're boring. They're like fucking one stupid fucking side quest to the next. And they're just making you walk all over the place for no goddamn reason, right? This like I want you to take what what anybody's ever said that hates these kind of games, mm -hmm. and that is the reason why I love them. Like I like going into Dr Dragon's Dogma and Skyrim and Fallout and walking around for hours. And it's like I'm literally somewhere else. There's um, a line from the show. It's not a spoiler. I'm going to show it, but you just reminded me of a line from the show that I actually really liked. Uh, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, that is Fallout in a nutshell. It's, yeah, that, no, that is Fallout in a right? nutshell. That, that's why I played this shit out of Red Dead or... Or uh, or Witcher or Skyrim, and now right now my my current obsession is Dragon's Dogma. It's like once you just let me live in a game because I can take games that are that are uh, structured, what do they call them? linear, right? Linear. Okay, yeah. linear games. Yeah. Linear games are dope, but I don't get lost in linear games. I don't I don't get like I need this. I'm not gonna play linear games over and over and over. You know what I mean? Mm. These games, I feel like I'm somewhere else, and I like that. That's a it, it feeds my ADHD. It feeds my escapism. I like it. So what it comes yeah. down to, because many that many are brought up is case, uh, another world escapism, right? And, mm -hmm. and it's weird because uh, to me the best form of escape, escapism is not through RPGs where I create a character and model after myself and all that stuff. It's usually living somebody else's story. You know what I mean? When we talk about like your, for example, something story heavy like your Last of Us, mm -hmm. you know, or any other heavy, you know, like hell, even like you know Spider Man, uh, Spider Man and Spider Man Two, right? Mm -hmm. It's not so yeah. much of the, like RPG elements that people are like oh. To them, that's like the best form of immersion. To me, it's like I want to live through somebody else's story, It'll see it through their eyes, or if it's their person, you know what I mean, through their through their experience. For me to get the most out of immersion, that will that will be something that will get me hooked. Unless it's a platformer, but then I like platform for a completely different reason. So yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think immersion. You can have different types of immersion, right? Um, we talk about immersion and the fourth wall when we watch movies, for example. And so um, I, I don't need a blank slate character to be immersed in a movie. You know, I, I can watch right. a movie, see what the, uh, the writer is telling me. And that's linear as fuck. I'm not controlling anything about it. I'm going to watch it to act one, go through act three, and that'll be the end. And some movies fuck up that immersion through. And I think that's, by the way, that's why we keep bringing up shit like, you know, where practical effects you don't like or CG effects you don't like. Yeah. Really what we're describing is not even like our, our people like to downplay it, Like, Oh my God, you guys are fucking like, no, 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 no. It's not so much like, why isn't the CG better? It's, it's, you broke the immersion. You reminded right. me I'm watching a TV show. That's why yeah. I don't like these mistakes. You know it, what it, I mean? It, it, um, Lord of the Rings is a big offender mm. to me. Oh, really? Because there are, well, Oh yeah. Cause there are multiple moments in the movie especially the first one. There's a part where when they're leaving from the Prancing Pony and going through the woods with Aragorn, there's a part where he literally, his the hilt of his sword butts the camera. Like, oh. noticeably jars the fucking camera as he's walking. Because like it's a scene where he's supposed to be walking by, brushing through the leaves, and when he does, the, the hilt of his sword... Bop! Hits the camera. The camera goes like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I gotta look this up on YouTube. Yeah. I've never seen that. That's it, wild. It is noticeable, and I've never been able to unsee it. There's a part where Frodo, when he when they're going up the the, the, the snowy mountain, and he uh -huh. falls... I mean, he falls down. And when he falls down, the camera lingers on his leg just a split second too long. And you can see where his pant leg has come all the way up, and you can see where the Hobbit foot prosthetic ends. <laughs> like, it's like an obvious, like, it looks like he has a, like a, some fucking long ass socks with some fur on them. And it's like, it just, it's little, mo and it's not to say like, oh man, these practical effects are ass. It's like, no, something happened 
and it's it made me, I'm me remember I'm watching a movie. Yeah. I mean, and, and to be right. fair, yes, I'm aware that it's make believe. I am I'm, I'm aware that when I go to watch a magician perform magic, he's not performing actual magic. He's right. just performing really advanced sleight of hand. But when I can see the strings, when I can see the wires, I can see the trap door. You made me just for a moment made me stop believing yeah Yeah. Yeah. it's the same thing with wrestling it's the reason why i don't know if you know like because i know um i think of the three of us i'm the only one who actually watches wrestling with any like modicum of regularity but there's a Uh reason why botch clips are both one of the most popular things about like wrestling like in the internet wrestling community if you go like on youtube or like on twitter reddit and just look up wrestling botches You'll find a fucking litany of posts of people pointing out where wrestlers fuck up. Well, I remember this and, one where he, he caught it with his crotch. Mm-hmm. He caught a fence with his crotch and then flipped the guy with his crotch. Well, like, no, 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 like no, 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 no. I'm talking about a mistake. <laughs> I'm talking about like, like, <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, no, that pisses people off for different reasons. But like yeah. the, the Internet wrestling community feels one way about botches and wrestlers feel another way because there's some wrestlers that don't like when people post the botches because yeah, you fuck up, you fuck up the magic yeah right but then there's other people who love seeing it because it's like dude it, it, it proves that while you're a master of your craft you're still human right. and while we and while people love the chant you fucked up because that's kind of a thing from the 90s that has never died but like Man, that's gotta be yeah that's shit that's heck, yeah, that's, it, like, it, that's like heckling uh a, a, a comedian, comedian. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah, heckling yeah. a comedian but the thing is it never really comes from a place of hate it comes from a place of love but like that's kind of the same thing for me. Like when I'm watching wrestling and I see one of my favorite wrestlers who is normally a seven star wrestler, a ring general, a field tactician who normally never fucks up, and suddenly he fucks up. It's like, see, even real kings fuck up. Yeah. Uh, it happened at WrestleMania. There was a WrestleMania somebody fucked up. Like it was an obvious fuck up too. Like I'm talking about like. It was so obvious that, like, you literally saw two people running at full speed and realized one was moving faster than the other and had to slow, had to visibly, noticeably slow himself down so as not to overshoot the over the other person. It's like, if you're looking, it's like, well, why would this person slow down? Like, clearly he wants to, if this was real, he'd want to be, a, like, why would it matter? The other dude fucks up and he can capitalize. Like, it, that's how I feel about CG in movies. You fucked up. And that's why it's so much more noticeable to me in this versus maybe another thing where, yeah, sure, maybe there's bad CG. Like, it's not like, oh, the MCU has bad CG. Well, yeah, because they kind of rush that shit out sometimes. Mm. This is bad just in the sense that, like, man, do y'all... Yeah, y'all didn't cover it up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Y'all didn't cover up the fuck up. (laughs) That being said, when it comes down to CG, do you guys prefer like, oh, what would take you out of the immersion quicker? Bad CG or just straight up like uh, set overlooks? For example, um, you see the movie Troy, I, I, I'm assuming yes. Yeah. With Brad Pitt. Troy? Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember the plane in Troy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Hell, plane I remember the, 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 the I remember the Starbucks cups and Game of Thrones and the Game fucking Thrones. laptop charger. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So to me, in Troy. there's a plane that flies by one of the scenes in Troy and she like, like there's like a sky and like uh, mm-hmm. they're showing like a helix and shit like that with Brad Pitt and there's a plane that flies by. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. so I, see it. I, see I it. think there's yeah. a fucking I car would... in Lord of the Rings. I think one of Lord of the Rings is a whole fucking car that drives by somewhere. Yeah. But what would take you out of the immersion quicker? Something like that, like a, uh, like a set overlook like that or bad CG? Because I can so, deal with bad CG personally. The, yeah. the set overlook is, 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 no, I'm sorry, the bad CG, that's why. Because here's the thing about set overlooks. Often, if you're telling the story well and you're a great film uh, filmmaker and, and you're and you, and you and you understand like how that shit works, videography, I'm probably gonna miss it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't yeah. miss it, but I probably will. And yeah. uh, but I'm not missing the the special effect fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's because that that's the thing they want you to look at. And 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 so um, I guess if I'm gonna be fair. All mm-hmm. things being equal, if I see a CGI fuck up and I see the set overlook, 
the set overlook is going to take me out quicker, especially when we're talking about planes and cars and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm but I but I guess I, I still feel like I'm probably gonna miss those the most. Hmm. You know, I, I, and that's the thing. Yeah, it, it's so. Yeah, the, I, I'm kind of in the same boat with you, Robo. The only reason why I'm going to say CG is because I'm going to notice the CG. Yeah, like like the I, set over like because a lot of times like a lot of the stuff that I brought up that, 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 that Chris has brought up. This is all stuff that like while I noticed it, I never want like 99.9% of the time. I didn't notice it on my first watch. Like mm-hmm. it was like second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth you know whatever watch but like case boy the, the thing i mentioned about lord of the rings aragorn's uh the hilt of the sword yeah I, uh, I put the youtube video in the in the chat oh there you go see it's, boom. Super, it's super fast and there's no sounds there won't be any strikes so gotcha gotcha um, gotcha 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 uh yeah. there you go you know what's something like while you pull like it up that. you know what's something like that that i don't like what's that what do y'all think about when uh when they do, you ever see like the blood splatter on the screen, and you know it's on purpose, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw blood in the screen. Yeah, I hate. Well, I mean, like, oh, there'll be like a, uh, like, even if it's for a split second, it'll it'll splatter on the camera. Yeah, and I think it's supposed to make you feel like you got on you, like, oh my god, I feel like yeah, I'm there. Yeah, it's it's supposed but to give you that like, vibe. I I'm hate like, it. Nah. I hate it. But what I hate most. And they do. They started doing this a lot in newer video games. Uh-huh. The fucking rain droplets hitting the. Oh, fucking same thing. Same yeah, thing. I hate that more. I hate it when movies were doing it back in the uh, mid to late two thousands. You know what I mean? Any rainy scenes like Crystal? <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. It's like, oh, got him. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Even well, the I, focus makes you realize, oh yeah, it's a camera. It's a camera. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Well, I guess here we. I, well, you know. Like, like, is that moment? Do, do I get up and walk out of the theater and ask for my money back? No, but it's like it's one of those movies. Like I said, they go, like, "Oh man, y'all fucked it up." But you reminded me I have to pee now, so right. Like it's like, I'm oh, I was kind of. <laughs> it's like I, I was, I was kind of into this at first, but now. <sighs> you say you don't like when the rain splatter does it too. Yeah, no, I hate it more when the rain. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't bother me as much. Like, oh, that's cool, right? The rain though, it fucking irks me. Stella Blake did it. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah. Can't see shit. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's kind of the reason why, like, I, like whenever I turn, like, it, you know, it's it, it's funny because, like, you know, they put all the shit in PC games, especially uh, for for everybody. Like, ooh, turn this on, turn that on. Do you know that some of the first things I turn off? Ray tracing. I turn off ray tracing. I turn off fucking motion blur. I turn off depth of uh, uh, depth of field. I turn off. Uh, 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 did I already say motion blur? I think I said a, mo- a motion yeah. blur, but yeah, uh, all that shit. Uh, oh, and film grain. I turn all that shit off. Not because like, I don't think it looks cool. It just, because it just, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't work for me in a video game. Like in a movie. Mm-hmm. Sure. In a video game. No, it doesn't work for me. It should be fucking That's illegal in, in shooters. In yeah. shooters. Yeah. Yeah. They- or not even legal, like, come with those options, turn the fuck off. Because yeah. I'm tired of playing a new shooter, and then I have to go like, okay, get the field, motion blur, ray tracing, oh, yeah. whatever the other film <laughs> brain. There should be a blanket setting that just turns them all off, so I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, just, just off it. by default, just like, I don't want it. It, 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 it's, it. It's dumb. It makes no sense. I don't even like it in non-shooters. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, who the fuck is this for? Right. Oh, like who is yeah, this right. even for? I gotta ask you though. Yeah. I just I just thought about something. So we're talking about gaming and Fallout. Uh, do they have any type of glitch esque references in the show? Because you know, Bethesda's games are known for. Oh, okay. Their I see. Glitches, you're their bugs, bugs and stuff. Do they have like anything like where like a body just shoots up to the sky or some shit and <laughs> you know, like? That okay. Was awesome. I, I, I'll tell you this. I will amend all my Fallout statements just for if you tell me that. <laughs> I, I'll put it like this: I didn't notice any. It's not to say there aren't, but I can say just on my my watch, I didn't see any. Um, but it kind of you you bringing this up kind of brings me back to my point. There are so many damn references, and honestly, I was like, I get it, I get it. I'm watching a TV show set in the Fallout universe. I get it. 
Like I totally get it. It's like, like I felt like, at, you know, you, when, when Chud's always complain about how, man, they're just beating us over the head with the damn message. They're modern day enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look at it. <laughs> what fucking pronouns? Gender <laughs> and fucking duty. <laughs> It's like it's like dude, it was literally believe. just a a, a, a a menu, a button you click, it yeah. takes one yeah. second. Like and No, you, they yeah. fucking carried Deus and I just would have I just would have fucking fly my ship around among the stars. Over a game that nobody played. And no. and there was a game right there that let you have a whole ass <laughs> penis with some titties, right? But but the pronouns that fucked him up. <laughs> that was the one he didn't say shit. You know, I, I, if I remember correctly, that motherfucker didn't say shit about Baldur's Gate. <laughs> That's my one thing. I Not wish one, I, maybe he missed it. I would have loved to see that because he probably would have died right there on screen. Oh, he wouldn't well, be able to handle it. Well, no, because it was too successful. It was too successful. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was too successful. Oh, so he, 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 oh, good point. It was too good successful. Point. Yeah, yeah. Then you couldn't see what happens when you go woke. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Go broke. Do, do you yeah. notice? Do you notice what chuds aren't talking about anymore? Well, They're not talking about X Men ninety seven. They gave up talking about X Men ninety seven because it's too. It's it, it is it is like they'll say something every now and again, like if they're asked. But like you notice that they're not content farming. Uh, uh, X Men ninety seven. It was like it was literally all they could talk about for like several months, and now. Yeah. Crickets. They were right about they were right about uh, uh roast cheeks though. So I mean they were right about that, but you know, I mean the, but, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean the cheeks were the, the cheeks were nerfed. I mean, I'm not gonna take that away from you, but uh but no, it, it just however Cyclops' thighs got out. Uh, <laughs> man, that dude dude, Cyclops is dummy thick. That, that, <laughs> no, the one scene where he's fighting the cats and like where yeah. he's like, you know, like he's countering this is one like when he posed, and I'm like, they did. Why is he flexing them that, that leg right there? Like, he, why is that leg so strained? Wait, <laughs> what's it, it, it called? Nightbird or whatever the fuck that dude's name? Uh, 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 Grayson. What's his name? Oh, Nightwing. Nightwing. Yeah, Nightwing. yeah, Nightwing. yeah Nightwing. he cheeked up like like uh, like Grayson's Nightwing. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like, my mother's like Xavier. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to sneak into the Sentinel factory, but I'm dummy thick, <laughs> and every time I move, <laughs> my butt cheeks clap. You know what, Blurred? We can't, oh, we can't be cool with you tonight because you just remind me that we don't have a Metal Gear live action series. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, but I tell you what I will remind you of. I tell you what I will remind you of. It's it's the... Um, it, it, it is a fact that, yeah, I will tell you this. If you are someone like... I imagine when Robo and you... Fit, like, both you and Maneater. I can already see it now. When y'all get to the end of this show, y'all are gonna have one of the most loving and most wholesome fucking nerd couple like conversations ever in the history of ever. Like it, it, it would remind me of something that would happen. Like when me and Cynthia sit down and watch, like, like when we watch horror movies together or we watch like, uh, like, to a lesser extent, doctor who, or like if there's like some other like nerd show, I'm not gonna lie. What's up? I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Not yeah, me too. I thought was no, like, no, 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 no. I, no, I'm saying gonna have the most passionate. No, no. Connected. <laughs> the, 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 the slight pause after fucking it took me out. <laughs> conversation ever. <laughs> no, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, uh, no, that, that. that with the benefit of hindsight i'm like oh yeah i probably shouldn't have paused there <laughs> but no uh you know what it was it was because my i was reading something while i was saying it so like my it's kind of like uh, uh like when you're uh when, you, when your computer doesn't have enough resources at a, at a specific yeah. moment and you're trying to do yeah. too much and your computer's like okay you clicked on this but i'm not opening it like right now yeah, i'm gonna yeah, yeah. open it like <laughs> give me a couple of seconds <laughs> but no um we have my fiance <laughs> <laughs> is it safe it's like it's safe oh damn but no, it, it just it, 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 it's i i say all that though because it is one of those shows like it, you know, despite the fact that yeah i do feel the easter eggs and references are like a mile like to the point there's a thing that happens in the very final episode I'm not gonna say you know, exactly what it is but a number comes up and i have no recognizance whatsoever to the exact date that Fallout, the original Fallout came out on PC, 
But the second I saw them linger on a number for more than half a second, I was like, let me guess the date that the first fucking Fallout game came out. And then I mm -hmm. went to Google, looked it up, and sure as shit, same fucking number. That, it, it, just to give you an idea of just how much they do this. And I'm not saying yeah. it's a bad thing, but it's just one of those things where I was like, man, you know what? I feel that this, while yes, it's technically for the people who love, the, you know, just really like super fans. I was like, dude, just kind of let this shit breathe. I was like, just let it breathe. Like, you can go an episode, you know, or not just episode, you can go five minutes without being like, hey, hey, y'all remember... Y'all remember this from Fallout 3? Mm. Do you remember this? <laughs> do, you remember the, do you remember this from the original Fallout? Do you remember this I, from I Fallout like, 76? Do you I remember like this from New Vegas? <laughs> I like how he's writing this as a complaint, but it's getting Robo more excited. Like, yeah, oh my like, God. Like, <laughs> well, no, he's like, this is why this sucks. And, and Robo's wait, like, wait, wait, wait. It's two, it's two parts. It's two parts. I want to make mm -hmm. sure you get... You have that, right? But yeah. also... You two were on my ass when I said this about Mario. And I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, no. no, I get it. No, no. I get it. I totally get it. I told like, 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 I, I'm on your side. I don't I'm even catch the heat yeah. when you come at me with the same energy. This is yeah. me humbling myself. Please. <laughs> well, no, I, like, and I totally get it. Like I said, I, I, I love Fallout. I'm not like a super Fallout fan. I love yeah. Fallout. I love, I love the first. Uh, the, the first one I actually like legit played was Fallout 3, even though I don't think it's the best of the series. I, it has a weird place in my heart where I just, it's kind of like a love hate relationship. New Vegas yeah. is probably going to oh, forever be the goat until somebody makes a game. It, look, either until they remaster or remake, uh, Fallout New Vegas or somebody just happens to fuck up and make a better game. Um, uh, oh, okay. We, we need to stop this crazy talk, right? Because for <laughs> Bethesda to make a quality game, they need to stop using the same fucking engine they've been using since 2005. Let it die. Okay, Let look, it go. look. Lease out Unreal Engine, please. Like, just do something because it's the same shit, bro. I'm, so, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Eater. Sorry, Robo, but come on, bro. Yeah. It's been, they've been rocking that engine for like what? 15 years, 15, 20 years? Uh, yeah. mm, you know what? I, uh, I, I, I don't know, but they know they know what we're here for. They well, and, and <laughs> I, I will agree with uh, Bert because Bird Nerd said this, and and and, and it's true. It, it's it's not a it's not an untrue statement. This part is true. So saying the show is good is because yeah, you know, we're all Fallout fans. So I'm curious if people who haven't played the games like the show, and that's actually what I'm ready to see because like you, know, Cynthia has no knowledge or interest in or of fallout she saw the trailer for it with me and she thought that it looked like something she would like so i'm gonna go back right. and rewatch it with her just to kind of see what happens but like because and, and that doesn't say like i mean yeah for as much as i've complained about the stuff obviously i liked it enough that like i want to watch it again just to see if there's is other stuff that maybe and not like easter egg stuff but maybe just like character stuff because the, the the characters of the show i think to me, were the real selling point. Yeah, especially um, the cowboy. The cowboy ghoul is dope. Oh, yeah, Dog's no. Well, Walt, Walton Goggins, first off, first off, Walton Goggins Money. is always the best part of just about oh, anything any he is ever in. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's like, good. I like him. <laughs> look, if you got Walton Goggins in your show, you got me. Like, that's all. Yeah. Like, okay, first off, that's at least seven points off rip to your rating. Yeah. That is seven yeah. whole points to the rating just off rip. You can yeah. only you can only do better. <laughs> I tell you what, Man Eater said this earlier, and I mm -hmm. gotta agree. Um, that kind of nose right there mm -hmm. is pretty pretty actually hard to pull off when it comes to consistent CGI. Yeah. Um, they did yeah. a really good job on on that on that, I, nose, I that on his whole character design in general. In eight episodes, I only really because I actually looked. Actually, because I wanted to see how well they could pull it off. There's only yeah. a couple of moments in the show where I know it's like, oh, man, y'all didn't render that right. Y'all fucked up right uh, here. Like somebody didn't like y'all missed a frame on the the, you know, over, on, on the cover up. But like, right. but it was but it was one of those things like it was it was very rare. And I was like, dude, they yeah. honestly, I feel like the lion's share of the budget went into making him look as good as humanly possible. Even though right. he isn't as ghoulish as I think as, uh, some people probably would have wanted him to be, right? Uh, right. We're probably gonna see worse though, because remember he's not uh, he's not feral. 
No, he's not. And, and no, he's not feral. And I, this isn't a spoiler. You are going to see ghouls other than him. And yeah. they all, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. none of them look the same. None of right. them look the same. Like they all. And of course, some of them look more deteriorated than others. Right? Correct. Correct. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. real quick, I do want to. Yeah. While we got yeah. nasty nose up here, uh, Michael Defonte with the two dollars says X Men ninety seven broke me this week. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, y'all, y'all saw me, man. I, I pulled the wine. I, I pulled the wine glass out. I, I uh, yeah, I, I had to drink. <laughs> uh, Bone Factory with the five dollars says, "All I know, X Men ninety seven episode five was like, I see you have feelings." Well, fuck them. Yeah, em. yeah. That's that's that was it basically. That was it, more, uh, more or less, in a nutshell. Uh, thank y'all for those super chats, by the way. Uh, but no, I also want to point out uh, uh, a couple of others. Uh, I believe, God, I might be misremembering. I think is it is it Ella Purnell that plays uh, Lucy? Uh, she's great. Uh, though I will admit, I usually hate her in most things I've seen her in. And it's usually, and it has nothing to do with her personally as an actress. It just, it, it maybe even does. Who knows? Depends how you want to look at it. But it's usually because, like, she's usually in movies where she plays characters I'm not supposed to like. Hmm. Like, uh, uh, case in point, um, that Zack Snyder movie, I think it was Army of the Dead. She's in yeah. that movie. She plays the, I think she plays Batista's daughter, if I remember correctly. Or I might be misremembering. But, uh, oh, I fucking hated her ass because she was literally the downfall of she everything. Got the whole team killed. Yeah, she, she got, got the whole team whole team whole team got clapped because of her. Um, oh, which one? Which one? Army of the Dead. Army, Army of the, the Dead. dead the, 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 oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the Zack Snyder Vegas? joint. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. also is in the TV show Yellow Jackets, and she is a rank bitch on that mm. show so like it was one of those deals where i was like man i was like Dude, she's really good at playing motherfuckers i can't stand so now i'm wondering how i'm gonna do with this show where she has to play somebody i have to like or i have to root yeah. for and I, I like at first i'm not gonna lie she's a little grating but you know that's kind of the point um you know th there's a the, the naivety of a person who has right. lived in a vault like it's a perfect she, vault yeah a perfect like like she she gets it across. She gets it across perfectly. Um, right. So, right. I, yeah, she was fantastic. There, there's no no notes. No notes on her whatsoever. Uh, just just uh, stay the course. Um, I'm going to misremember the name of the brother who plays uh, Maximus. Um, oh. He, I for, uh, I, you talk about the... Uh, Oh no 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 no! I know uh, about, this, no, cat right here, this cat right here. This cat right here. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna misremember his name, so I'm just gonna look it up. But while I look it up, I, I will say this much: um, he did a pretty good job too, playing. Uh, you know, he he's the one that's a part of the the Brotherhood of Steel. I liked his character. He kind of took a while for me to warm up to as well, but for a different reason. Mm. Um. But uh, all all that said, all that said, uh, like those of the you know the principal cast were all great. But I will say this, uh, as, at least as far as he goes, he probably had what I felt was one of the better arcs across the entire show. Like okay, okay, by, by comparison to other kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you by the, by the time you get further to the show, I feel like he had probably one of the better like arcs overall of of any yeah. of any. But I will say this: none of them are as good. Even Walton Goggins, none of them are as good as the dog as the puppers. <laughs> as the puppers, the puppers is the best. The puppers is the best. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. I I don't make the rules. Hey, hey, hey. So I need I need this. I know we said spoiler free. Right, 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 I'm a, right. I'm a, I'm a does the dog die dot com kind of dude. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, uh, you said you were two episodes in. Yeah. The worst thing that could happen to the dog has already happened. Got it. Got it. If sure. uh, without without going to the uh, cause they, good episode two is Good. when they go to Philly, right? 
Yep. Or, yep. Okay. I know exactly what you're talking okay. About. So yeah, uh, the, I was like, they better not. They no, better no, not. No, no. I, I will say that that that's one of those I don't mind spoiling. The dog is fine. Uh, um, good, good. But uh, I will definitely say that if you are, Aaron oh, hmm? Aaron Moten. That yes. Yep. 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 Uh, he, and, and like I say, he's great. He's great. Uh, Aaron Moten, he kills it. Um. You know, he, he, like I say, he's he's more of a slow burn character, but um, everybody else that's on the show, uh, I I always forget this guy's name. Uh, uh but he is Michael Emerson. Yeah, he's he's always good in everything he's in. Pretty much, you, you can't really. It'd be he, crazy to be a movie guy to be spitting these names out like this without having IMDb open in front of me right here. Yeah. Oh no, That'd like drunk. oh Michael Emerson. Yeah, I, I loved him in um. And what's that one indie film they released only in France? Oh, what's the name? Oh, of that? yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 all day oh, toilets. Uh, yeah, all, all day toilet. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, oh so man, good. that was a masterpiece. Masterpiece. No, you know, that's uh, how naive I am. If you haven't said anything, I was like, damn, he really knows his actors. <laughs> I mean, to be well, fair, I mean, what? Depending on who it is or or like what I'm looking at, sometimes I'm I'm I, I don't even have to look. But this is one of those. I'm like, I don't. I'm not as familiar with everyone. Um, well, except for Goggins, I don't know if we have any like you know, triple A actors on here. Uh, these are all people that we recognize. Yeah, and then we're like, I know them from from that one from that one place. Well, there's also this um, cat too, uh, Kyle McLaughlin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, like he, him, I know because I mean he's been in <sighs> probably yeah, some of the well. most. Well, I mean, first off, he was in the original Dune. Uh, right. yeah, he was, uh, what was it? Paul Atreides, uh, 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 in the original Dune and he was the he, Twin he Peaks was, guy. The dude that I recognize, like, like super recognize, but I still yeah. don't know his name. What's his name? Uh, Kyle McLaughlin. Okay. Yeah. Kyle yeah. McLaughlin. That's that's is name. it related to Sarah McLaughlin at all? Damn, beat me I to have it. no Fuck. idea. Oh. I have no idea. You know what? But you, now that you say that, I have to I look it up. I wouldn't be surprised. All them like big Hollywood artists and shit. They always like, yeah, yep, yeah. yeah no, I'm looking yep. him up. No, no relation. Uh. No. So I'll tell you <laughs> what, would it be nerds of culture if we didn't bring this up? Yeah. What's up? You saw, okay. No, no spoilers. Right, right, right. No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me do this. You got this. I believe no you. spoilers. All right, all right. But all I right. will say, whoever I bring up is only in one episode. Thank God. <gasps> oh, Michael fucking Rappaport. Yeah, I, I won't even say where you see him, but yeah, he is no, only in the one episode. No, Michael fucking Rappaport. And let me tell you something. And this is like the first I. Sh- First one, yes. or is it the second? Second episode, second episode, beginning okay. of the second episode. Okay, and, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yep, and I'm like, I had a struggle. I, I, I sat here, <laughs> and all the shit that I've been talking about, like, well, ho- uh, Hogwarts legacy. I, I'm like, you know, you know, eating at 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 a uh, uh, um, oh Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, I'm like. What do I do? <laughs> no. Do I cut it off? No, 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 no. Don't don't do this to me. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, here's here's the thing. And even if he was in more than one episode, here's how I would have squared that circle. Hmm. He is not propped up in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah. In the little bit of time. Like, like he's not treated as like. Oh man, dude! Y'all see how cool Michael Rappaport was in this? Right, right. Like, no, you're not gonna yeah. say that. You're you're you're, yeah. you're not gonna say that. You're gonna be like, I can't stand that dude. Like, he's probably one of my least favorite dudes right now. Oh no, I I'm I, I will definitely say hard body cannot stand him. Oh, uh, yeah. but I yeah, tell you, Bergner, like, Bernard said it. He's like he's like. uh Exactly how you said oh, was yeah. his character. Mm-hmm. Whatever, not whatever character you think he should be. If you don't like that motherfucker, he played that dude. Like he's like, that. bruh, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I will say though, uh, go consure his baby's father with five dollars. His X Men Genosha prices are like our prices today. Ten dollars for apples. They better have a dollar store there. Nah, that was <laughs> that was that was actually one of the moments I was kind of like. Like damn, man! I know, I know, y'all, y'all just getting started, but like, 
But you got to look at salaries, though. And that's true. That's true. You know, yeah, we got to look at the whole. We got to look at the whole picture. I'm like, hey, maybe they, maybe they're, maybe they're not paying people seven dollars ninety seven cents to work forty plus hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what? You know what? There you go. Yeah, we that 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 is uh that that is a that is a valid point and why I'm. If I had to pay ten dollars for some apples, I would say yes. Yeah, Sentinels, y'all need to go ahead and come on through here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out to Nick Barucci. Uh, says yeah. uh, a one to give a hundred hundo a hundo dollar super chat says want to give a shout out and thank you guys for the great content i rarely get to see you guys live thank you for all the great content incredible support from everyone at dynamite entertainment everyone please hit the thumbs up and share thank you thank you max damage thank you for that that is actually you know i have to yeah so yeah this is a sidebar uh to 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 this It, it has nothing to do with this but i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna share it anyway uh, so, you know, like the past couple of weeks uh, across all live streams, uh, basically what happens, what, what, what happened here is uh, whenever I hit the button, sometimes it will play a thing twice. It should not do that anymore. And watch when I do this. It's going to fucking do it. Uh, <laughs> yep, it did it. It did it anyway because it hates me. Oh, because I... It twice? It plays it twice for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, that said, thank you, Nick. Thank you so much for that love, and awesome. I appreciate yeah. it. You, like I said, I, I any anything I can anything that that uh, um, uh, anything that I do, I do purely because I enjoy doing it and I, I I want to do it. So yeah, Dynamite gets much love for B. So I appreciate I I appreciate that. Thank you so much, and I hope Everything that I have I do done it for, justice. Uh, Oh, everything I do is for hundred dollars super chat, so thank you. <laughs> He's like, it's no, everything, I do, man. <laughs> and everything I do is for, it's for my country. He's like, He's like this motherfucker. <laughs> <sighs> I hate it here. I hate it here sometimes. <laughs> Show's over. Hey, it's like, well, all right, cut. Pull the plug. Pull the, no, I'm kidding. We're not pulling the plug. Uh, but no, thank you, thank you so much for that. I, like I said, I, I couldn't say how much I appreciate it enough. Um. That said, that said, um, I think that's it for Fallout. I, I, I don't really have anything else to say about Fallout unless. Uh, yep. No, that's it. Go watch oh. it. I definitely appreciate the, the blood in it. Um, I wasn't sure. My final words on it is as a, as a, as a Fallout super fan, final words is that uh, I was afraid that we're going to go. I didn't know what direction they were going to go with it being a video game uh at adaptation last of us you know brings us to one direction and then we have other other games that come out that just go super silly and they want it to be super mm. video gamey and so i wasn't sure where this one was going to land um and i and i think uh only being two episodes in I, I like the fact that we are landing somewhere in between they're not afraid to do the blood they're not the, you know the the holes through the chest uh right you know, or that we've seen but then we're also not seeing like you could tell that we're not getting too gratuitous right so they had a chance to show nudity in the beginning. They didn't shy away from blood. Uh, and I'm sorry, with from sex, but they didn't have to do like a whole thing. So I'm it like, wasn't okay. gratuitous, or, right? But yeah. they're doing a uh, like PG-13 kind of thing. So you could tell they want a younger crowd, but they're gonna give the old heads our blood. And I, I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, uh, it, it, it it knows it knows what it is. Uh, it knows yeah. what it is, uh, and it knows what people. And honestly, I would say. I feel like the game knows, or not the game, but the show knows who its audience, its core audience, is likely going to be. Mm-hmm. And it will, and I think it, I, you know, while I felt it was a little bit of you know much at times, I feel like you know honestly, if those who like it like it, then I'm all for it. Um, it's, it's absolutely woke. So watch this shit. Watch it. A a a put it put a pin on that YouTube noob. Absolutely yes. woke. Uh, oh we yeah. Got a, it's, we got yeah, a strong it is female lead. Strong female lead. We got um. We I got. Uh, think uh, there's a non-binary. Uh, I wouldn't uh, doubt it. Oh no no I no! I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Yeah. There. Uh. Yeah. Uh. There is a non-binary uh actor that is in not like a major role, but uh. They are in a. 
a role that is enough that they are like a I forget the term for it. there's an actual like term for this yeah. type of character. But um they, for I will just say they're a tertiary character. Got it. Uh Walter Goggins having a black daughter is definitely counts. But I will say yeah. this much. One thing that I was actually this it's a it's a very small thing, but it let me know the wokeness of it. And and I was like, I like that. Very small, very subtle. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning of the mo- of the thing, even in their perfect vault, we are back, guys. She Ooh, knew. Handle. Okay, uh, she would be talking about. Uh, she said, "I can't wait to get married, so that I could stop fucking my cousins." And it oh, was like, yeah. it was like, and the other girl was like, "Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, but you can't, you can't always just keep fucking your cousins, you know? What I mean, I'm trying to get like dick that I can have." Yeah, <laughs> and it was just like, and, and it was very small. But what it told me was like, "Oh, look at that." They're okay with showing that women like to fuck too, and it's okay, you know. Yeah. It's not like they did the whole like, you know, purity thing where like, mm. oh, she's a virgin of the vault and she's about to lose her virginity. And that's that's how what you I know was worried. She's a, a good character. You yeah, know what I mean? that's what yeah. I was worried they were gonna do with her. Like, she's not like, she's naive. She's not innocent. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. She's naive. So came not up as pretty sex positive. And by the way, even though that's wild, chat. Even though that's yeah. wild. Uh, I mean, what do you expect in it? You know what I mean? Like, like you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it is. Yeah, I, per, personally speaking, uh, uh, personally speaking, I don't like, I don't like when um, people try to play this whole like. It's kind of like it, what comics in the '80s and '90s. Uh. Men do this. Women do this. And it's uh-huh. like no, yeah, I mean yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 people are people, and I was I was okay right. with that. I was I was perfectly yeah. okay with that. I I don't. I, I will say there, if there was any one, uh, you know maybe thing that I felt probably was a little. I won't say like. I mean honestly, I don't feel like the show was like egregious in any aspect of like representation or anything like that. I mean it was. It was it was pretty damn diverse cast, and I'm not even just talking about like the main cast. I'm talking about like just the entire cast as a whole, extras, uh, extras yeah. yeah, everything. Um, yeah. If there's any like maybe one thing I'd say, if, there are some moments where um, you can kind of tell that the show might have, I won't say rushed a couple of things. There are some points in the show that. I feel I probably would have liked them to elaborate on just a little bit more. Not saying anything that like, not saying oh it should have had like twenty episodes or anything. Like I, I like honestly even just one more episode I think would have would have been fine. But I don't think it would have overstayed its welcome at that point. But there is some well, stuff that comes up. A little faster taste. It gets well not at first. Like when it, it, mm-hmm. so here's the thing. It it feels like the show kind of t- like I'm not saying it's slow, but like. It feels like it takes a moment to kind of get where it's going, like, just at first. Like, that first couple of episodes, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's going places. But, like, the real gravitas of the show kind of hits in the middle. And Mm. then, you know, your act, like, which is effectively, like, your act two. And then when you get to, like, act three, it feels like... It feels like maybe something's missing. Like, Like, oh, we... So okay, all right, we took care of this, we took care of that, we got act one, we got the act one troubles out of the way, the act two troubles are out of the way. Now we gotta deal with the 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 thing that you that we gotta deal with in act three, and it's like Okay, here we are. That's like, oh, oh. Oh, okay, I I guess. Yeah, all right. Uh yeah, yeah I wish that if there was like maybe one more episode just to kind of maybe push a little bit further, I don't know. And it could a hundred percent just be me. But um, I do feel like maybe well, that's a good one question. More I don't know episode. if this is. Uh, oh, what's up? I don't know if this is spoiler or not. But does the show end on a cliff? A uh, uh, cliffhanger? Does it set up a season two? It, okay, or does it so wrap up the whole story? It does set up a season two, but at the same time, without going into specifics, I do feel like it answers the majority of the questions you might have. From the first season, but Mm. it is going to leave, 
you with at least a few things to ponder for the next season. Got it. So like, some, some, yeah, some things that aren't that we're going to be looking for closure for. Right. Like, like, yeah, there, there's no 100% closure on everything. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no 100% closure on everything. Uh, you know, so it's not going to be one of those things. Is it like, so you know how like sometimes when you watch a show and they don't really know if they're going to get a second season and what they'll do is they'll just go, oh yeah, just wrap up everything. Wrap up mm-hmm. everything. Uh, they don't do that. There are definitely some things that are not addressed yeah. Uh, by the time you get to the end, uh, there are yeah. still things left on the table for them to go back to. And at the same time, there are also, uh, you know, the, the things I feel you probably would want them to address in the first season, I feel like are addressed. Um, mm. and, and yeah, and that, that's, that, that's all I can say without going into, uh, uh, specifics. Um, I, I will say this. So, uh, you know, just to kind of piggyback off something, I saw a uh, 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 bird nerd say, uh, talking about Shogun, the show on uh, Hulu, uh, and, and I think it's on FX as well. But uh yeah. says Shogun is really slow to them. So, case in point, Fallout's not that slow. No. Not at all. Not at all. Um, uh, I still enjoy it, but I, I kind of get where you're coming from. It has some moments where it is a little, I don't want to say up its own ass because it's trying to be artsy fartsy, like in terms of like, oh, this is cinema uh, in television format. But just like there's some times where they kind of linger on some stuff. Uh, But yes, all episodes are out. You can watch it in its entirety. Uh, I did. I don't feel lesser for it. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. I think that, I think if you're at least partially a fallout fan you will find something to love yeah. uh i will tell you this if you hate fallout like if you just absolutely positively hate fallout this show is not going to do anything to change your mind about that because it is very fallout i'm uh, i'm that see, that is something i want to know like mm-hmm. like we're, we're we're a we're a community of gamers and, and nerds in here so but if anybody out there and i want to hear this next week or, or in the discord yeah. If anybody out there has never played a Fallout game because that's not your shit, and you watch this, I would love to know your opinion um, mm. because I do think there are game. There are ty- for for example, like we know the king of it, the king of 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 the whole shebang is uh, Last of Us, yeah. and it's like you could never having my parents love the last of us they never touched they don't play video games mm. at all they just enjoyed it for its own story so i'm wondering if fallout could do the same thing did they like episode three of the the new the last season no 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 uh, well, of the last of us of the last of us the the that was just the first was, season was, was, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're the, right, you're the, right, you're the, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't talked about it. I don't want to be disappointed. The the uh, I was gonna say, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, in case you didn't remember which episode that was, I was gonna say the very gay one. Yeah, <laughs> the quotey no fingers no very story gay that I one. Definitely cried at. <laughs> yeah, you, you know the episode that I think universally anyone with at least a, a half-ass working heart. You know, probably cried during at some point. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Present 100%. company. That's why I don't even want to bring it up because I'm like, no. I want to be like, did you fucking see that shit? And yeah. then the fucking window was open, <laughs> and then you know they'd even have to fucking show you know <sighs> what was behind the window. I'm like, yeah, yeah I just didn't. I just, uh, I'm just like, ah, I want to hear it. Now. Nah, <laughs> no, look, look, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> They'll be like man eater. Throw the phone. <laughs> they'll be like man eater. There'll be there will there will be no last of a slander. A hundred percent. No last 100%. of a slander. But uh, you know, uh, and I will say because we got a uh, we got a super J here from uh, Shogun, uh, uh, not Shogun, but from uh, Bone Factory talking about uh, Shogun. So Shogun's based on two nice sized books. So yeah, it, and that's the thing. That's kind of why I'm okay with it being like as drawn out as it is. Like mm-hmm. like okay to put it in perspective. Shogun to me is slow in the same way that I feel the recent Doom movies are slow. Not because they're boring, but because they have a lot of ground They're going to take their time. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they're not rushing. Now, I will say there are some Vista shots and some, you know, 
a tour de force cinematography, but it's not like a bad, like, I don't think of those things as bad. It's just yeah. like, those are the moments where I'm kind of like, okay, so this is where I can look down at my phone. Yeah. And, and you know, you know what, yeah. you know what the, I noticed that some series <laughs> and movies do, and, and I think Dune and Fallout is, is, is kind of like a good example of this. Mm hmm. When we start talking about the standard uh, three, uh, the three act story, story storytelling process, right? Like when we we look at that, I think some movies, yeah, uh, and I think by by what you're explaining again, I only seen the first two episodes, but like maybe Fallout does this version where they give the story of season one and act one and two, and if you're only gonna have eight, nine, ten episodes. That might feel rushed. Right. Other people don't give a fuck what you think about their first <laughs> season. You, I'm not going to even be, I'm going to be halfway done with act one mm -hmm. when I'm done with season one. And we're not going to get to see act two of my story until we get to season three or some shit. You know what I mean? Right. And I think Dune did that. Instead of giving us acts one, two, and three of part one, Dune said, I'm giving you act one and a little bit of act two in part one, and we might wrap up in the next movie. Uh, because it's a it's gonna be a trilogy, right? Or I believe I so. It's wait, a, about, wait, a, talk about Dune? Story one and two? Yeah. Dune? Oh no, there's tons of Dune. So yeah, there they could probably oh, squeeze. So that's that that yeah. make that, that proves my point right there. It's like like they're not in a rush, they're not gonna try to give you a, no. a full entertainment series. No, 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 no. No. But get comfortable. Make sure you pee, yeah. because we're gonna be here for a minute. You know. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, I got to sort it though. Oh no, yeah, wait, no. That act one and two, three thing uh, on on a series is gonna work. I love the analogy. I love the. Explain that to people when they see Last of Us season two, because Pedro Pedro Pascal kind of recorded his shit in a weekend. <laughs> oh yeah, recording. no, they yeah they say and he's they, done. They say he's, he's done with done. this shit. <laughs> and that was like a, he did like a two hour session. So I'll, when we review that season, I want you to say the same exact thing you just said now. Um, just throwing it out there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting you. I'm just look, saying. It's I, gonna be sad as fuck, bro. Like, I was like, what? What do you mean? I was like, yeah, he, yeah, he I, said, he, I'm done recording. And people like, everybody's like, wait, that, it's only been a week, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of like when I I remember when that first uh, Godzilla movie came out the the not the first remake but the second remake uh, or the second American one or whatever. And one, right? The, yeah, the one with Brian Cranston in it. And like yeah. I remember because I used to keep up with movie news like super hardcore for shit like that. And it was like, yeah, Brian Cranston said he's already done filming his scenes for that movie. And I was like, well, he is. Not, I was like, he either a plays a character who like only shows up sporadically throughout the film, or he shows up in the very beginning and gets his cheeks clapped, <laughs> like just ate all the way up. But, but that wasn't the full reason why people were mad, right? Because in all the promotional material for that movie, they were showing and it was they was giving us a vibe that was like, oh, it's gonna be a Heisenberg versus Godzilla type of yeah. crossover. It was and like, he was there for like the opening credits. <laughs> look, look, Godzilla came and said, "Sorry, big time. This is my movie." I'm blown out, motherfucker. He's like, he's like, look, man, I'm a menace out here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, uh, yeah. But I will say this: there, there's a lot of really, um, there's a lot of really good stuff out there right now uh, uh, to consume, and. Real quick, I just want to give just a quick PSA. Mm. Quick PSA. I promise you, it will not last long. At least, I hope it doesn't. Um, but a lot of you know uh, that I'm a huge fan of Go Go Loser Ranger. Which, by the way, is now on Hulu. Uh, it's only got the one episode... But goddamn, the one episode is fucking amazing. Uh, the one episode is Chef's Kiss, fucking yeah. amazing. Um, it is everything that I hoped it would be. It is, I, I will say this though, if you're worried about the show, you know, this isn't really a problem with anime, but if you're worried about woke anime, you don't have to worry about that. There's no, <laughs> there, there, there's no diversity. 
Is there such thing as woke anime? There's no inclusion whatsoever. <laughs> anime is only woke when we make it here in America. Uh, <laughs> why y'all got to be adding black folks to Ninja Kamui, man? What's up with that? <laughs> why y'all got? Why y'all got to have a woman with pink hair or whatever, or red hair or whatever? <laughs> um, but no, uh, the the show is really just in one episode off to a fantastic start. It actually makes some, ch I take it back. It is a little woke because they do actually add in a little bit of diversity in terms of like, uh, 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 in terms of gender representation among the, okay. uh, the dusters, the, uh, the, the henchmen that the monsters use to fight the, uh, the Rangers. Um, oh, okay. but, uh, but so I mean, some of the bad guys have titties. <laughs> there's there's a couple of them. but 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 they they wear very slender like like motherfuckers look like this dude here in the black like there's like some some different uh body types you'll see amongst them that you probably won't be used to seeing in the manga um uh, but i mean it's good it's, it's it's really good solid off to a great start and i will say right now if you are a person who's like man i don't really want to read a uh a, a hundred something chapter uh, manga. Well, guess what? You don't have to now. You just watch this. Uh, it's it's amazing. Oh, look, is, is the series over? The manga series over? No, I, I think it's off. still. I think it's still going. I think last oh, I checked, it's like a hundred and fifty some chapters or somewhere okay. in. I think it's somewhere in and around. Um, uh, somewhere in and around that. I like once again. I could be wrong. I'm open to being wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's 128 chapters. Uh, uh, last I checked. And you said you said so. This anime is uh, Go Go Loser Ranger. Yes, 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 yes. Go yes, Go yes. Loser Ranger. And you said it's kind of like uh, the like boys, like, Power Ranger. like the boys. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah. The the it's the boys meets the Power Rangers. It's uh okay. basically the 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 long and short of it is. Uh, well, this is the first one, but like the Rangers are, while they're the heroes of Japan, they are not the heroes of the story. Uh, mm. They're the bad guys, and not just because the protagonist is a, a villain, mm -hmm. but also because the Rangers are pieces of shit. So uh, just literally think the seven. Yeah, yeah, they're basically the, it's like the if the Power Rangers yeah. were the seven, that's basically what it is. Which is clearly what they're going for. I'm surprised that yeah. they that nobody's saying about Go Go Loser Ranger. I'm like, yeah, I, I feel like whenever people do shit like that, it's like <laughs> that Power World shit where I'm like, mm -hmm. sue me. Yeah. Like, oh, well, what are you, you going to do, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> well, so so here's the funny thing about it. Here's the funny thing about it. So even the naming, so, okay, so in Japan, it's not called, uh, at least not directly, I don't think it's called Go Go Loser Ranger. I think that's only what it's called over here. But, like, mm. in Japan, it's called uh, Sentai Daishikaku. Ah, uh, way different. Which is... Which, which, which is the boys for Power Rangers. That's the yeah. what it says. Well, <laughs> it actually translates to, the, they flip the article, so it's boys the... Yeah. Except Power Rangers. That's what it's yeah. in Japanese. What it That's like. <laughs> well, like, your Japanese is getting better. Every day. <laughs> no, um, like in Japan, like all the Power Rangers, the Super Sentai shows, that's basically how they're named. It's always like Kaizoku Sentai Go Kaiger, or mm. it's uh, Kiyoru Sentai Z Ranger, yep. or some shit like that. Like it's always Sentai is usually always in the middle, and then like whatever the hell the name of the show is uh um, you might have to press a danger button for this but every time they say sentai to me it always sounds kinky well the the funny thing about it is like i remember whenever i would tell people oh yeah i watched super sentai like people would always get confused and think i was talking about hentai and i'd be like oh, i no. love sentai <laughs> Jeez, i'm a big sentai fan yeah <laughs> what and then people are like <laughs> bro this is church What's wrong? Like, I can't say I like Sentai in church. To, to be fair, there is some church themed, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, hey, it's I mean, I'm just saying. Brand. I'm just saying. No, but Sentai I mean, it's, <laughs> it, I, I will say this though: it, it is it is really fun. Uh, the main character of uh, of the show, 
uh, which is yeah, the guy I showed earlier, uh, Fighter D. Hmm. He's awesome. He's awesome because he's he's God's favorite idiot. Basically, he's is, Huey. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, is he Huey or is he the other guy? Yeah. Well, no, I was, he's Huey. He's definitely not Butcher. God oh you, yeah. Man. What? Well, I was gonna say in terms of just like how silly he can be, I would yeah. I would probably I would uh, yeah. He, well, I tell you what, different different anal different like I guess uh 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 you know connection right. between characters. I would mm -hmm. say probably Deadpool minus the fourth wall breaking all the time because like okay. he's goofy. He's goofy, but he's serious. Um, and the finest girls. He's barely competent at the beginning. Right. Yeah. Oh, th there's a thing they do in the anime that they, I don't feel like they did in the manga where they kind of like it was, but it was one of those deals where they show you like how you think you look when you run at somebody versus <laughs> what you really look like. And yeah, I was just like, I Bro. Kind of episode. Yeah. yeah, like it, it was, it was cool. funny. Did one where they were did a singing thing when they went back to their uh, mm -hmm. uh, their high school reunion. That's like my favorite scene. Yeah, and, uh, oh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I it, it so like. You 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 get a thing kind of kind of you know, very similar, but like I like I said, I, I highly like highly 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 recommend. Go check it out. Uh, I think it. I'm trying. I want to say like it drops like every like Tuesday or maybe Monday or something like that. Because I know it, it's Hulu. I think it's Wednesday. Because I just is it Wednesday? Because I feel like it. Came, I feel like the episode came out on Tuesday. Because uh, well. If I remember correctly, uh, live Tuesday, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever they broadcast, yeah. Wednesday streaming. Gotcha. Um, so don't quote me though, because that's how Hulu used to run shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So nah. back when I, when I used to watch Archer, I used to always have to catch it on Wednesdays, but it would be on FX on Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Well, in Japan, right now I'm yeah. watching Baki Son of Ogre. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'll, I'll, I'll jump on this. Well, I mean, you got you got plenty of time because, like I said, it, it, they only did the they only did like just the the first episode. The so. first episode, yeah. Yeah, you got. Though I will oh, say, uh, oh, episode two is out. Just so you know. Oh, it is. Oh, well, I'll be watching yeah, that later. They must do it on oh, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. That's why episode just ended now. <laughs> episode twenty of the Nerds of Culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's oh, a is lie. it just showing you that it's coming April, up? Uh -huh, oh, April fourteenth, oh, four a.m. is when it drops. Got you. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, April. April 14th, so, yeah, so Sunday night. Okay. Sunday, well, Sunday. you know what? That actually is in line because uh, Superhero Time uh, in Japan is on Sundays. Um, so that, that actually makes quick. sense. Hmm? Guys, and this is going to be completely off topic. I just got to get it off my chest before Go I ahead, shoot. Again. Uh, Ninja Kamui, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you kind can get caught up. For me. Kind of fell off for me. Because really? Now the because now they got the CGI robot suit of armor shit or some Rurouni warrior shit, and I just prefer when they were just hands. Oh mm. yeah. So uh, you'll see what I, you'll see what I mean. But it's not. It's yeah. not a huge spoiler. Because, it's not a huge spoiler because it, there, it's literally in the intro. Yeah, it's in the intro. <laughs> but I was, but I I was hoping that the main character stayed being cold and shit, mm. and it just. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. But, uh, uh, just, that just breaks a heads my heart. Up. Just a heads up, man. Um, like they're on the intro, and my dumb ass still thought like, "Oh, they have to get suit of armor to fight him." And it's just yeah, damn. And that, I hype that motherfucker up. That makes me sad. Well, I tell you what, you know, I have plenty to watch, so you know, I'm not even too uh, I'm not even too terribly right. messed up about because you know what, I tell you what, we I, we can give an anime report, so. Um, you know how I, I think I said before, like, yeah, you know, when I was watching Chainsaw Man, the mm -hmm. thing that I knew would keep Cynthia from liking it. Was it? Did it do it? No, she fucking loves that show. There you go. <laughs> she, like, you but, know, it would you kind of go to my point. Remember I told you, I said, I, I, before you started watching uh -huh. it, cause I, cause me and you talk about it, I know what you don't like. Yeah. And I said, this part's going to bug you. <laughs> But just <laughs> just push through it because mm -hmm. they don't really do it like the other animes do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They well, kind of make him a weirdo for it. Yeah, well, and not only that, uh, so in the way she kind of explained, because because basically I kind of pre-gamed her for it. So mm -hmm. she kind of mm -hmm. went into it half expecting to not like beat oh, you I into it. it. But by the end of the first episode, like even before we got to the end of the first episode, she was like, 
She was like, oh, he's so cute. I really like him. He's so simple. Uh, and I was just like, and he comes off. That's actually another good point. It's like mm-hmm. he comes off creepy. All right. We don't want to, we don't want to well, yeah. do the boys, boys thing, mm-hmm. but creepy in almost the way, like, imagine an eight year old or, or nine year old might like titties. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, all right, but, calm the fuck down, weirdo. But he, he he comes off super naive about it. Then you find out about his upbringing. And, and I was about to right. say, oh. Once you bring out the upbringing, I was like, I'm not annoying no more. Now I yeah. feel mad for being a dispensable yeah. dick. That's basically, yeah. that's basically what happened with her. Uh, she fell in love with the show. Uh, but uh, I think she we're almost done. Well, she she's almost done with the first season. I've, I've already seen it. I'm, I'm reading the manga now. Uh, but oh, By the way, uh, mm-hmm. heads up with the manga. Yeah, what's up? You're gonna feel like shit. Oh, well, why? Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, well, no, don't, tell you? no, don't tell me why. I don't tell me. Why. You, I don't know why I said that was a reflexive why. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those where <laughs> why? Oh, you're asking? He dies. Uh, yeah, he he's dies. Like, oh, there you um, go. It actually yeah. goes beyond Chainsaw Man. So. Actually, I, 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 the actual Chainsaw. No, 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 no. It's one of those where it was very well done, but there's a fucking tone shift in the whole anime that you do not expect well okay well i was gonna say this uh one of the deaths on the show was spoiled or in the manga was spoiled for me uh recently and oddly enough oddly enough because of the recent issue of deadpool <laughs> yeah okay oh, yeah, no, okay yeah, oh, no, yeah, no 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 but hear me out still read it because yeah. that was excellent. yeah oh no the, i'm still gonna read I, it I saw, yeah i saw i saw the the snapshot Mm. It's not. It's not the death, right? Well, no, yeah, it's, no. It, it well, it wasn't that. It was because when I was talking about it, somebody else, kind of came in, and I guess there was an assumption that like I was current on it. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, well, this is a whole ass. I was like, this it's is a whole a ass boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, no. Yeah. No. That 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 I'm okay with. Yeah. That so, I'm okay so, with. so the 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 minor part of that uh, is the. The death photo, that's a minor part. Is it's, it like how Jujutsu Kaisen changes tones from like the first season to the second? Is it kind of like that? Or no, you think like uh, way, so way if you hard look at left field? Hard left field. Because because uh because Jujutsu Kaisen remains consistent with their characters, you know what I mean? Uh mm-hmm. like oh so being playful when they need to be. Yeah. This one is one of those where it's like if I have were to describe it to you after you read it, you would think I'd be talking about two different mangas. Mm-hmm. Got gotcha. you. And it's, and the transition is done very well. So be prepared. So so here's the thing. Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this because uh, I'm curious about this because I think I've said this before, but it, it's something that I think just bears repeating. Can I just say I'm kind of sick and tired of motherfuckers trying to tell me that. Um, oh man, see see, anime and manga different, man. <laughs> they 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 they. they they don't be they don't be regurgitating them same storylines over and over like they do in American comics. Okay, so I just want to point out to somebody. I just want to point something out to somebody. Do you know the other day when I was watching Chainsaw Man and Cynthia asked me a question about something that was going on, like like you're just kind of you know like a, a deeper lore question? Why was it I started talking about Jujutsu Kaisen? Because I was like, dude, I was like they're not the same show, but they have some like you know some of the same trajectories you can oh. draw a straight line through no, chainsaw you man can... jujitsu kaizen and naruto just do, 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 no, you know please, like I, you know what's crazy because people hate how i describe shows like when mm-hmm. people like for example, jjk uh the other day one of my homies was, was trying to explain to uh one of his friends and they were like oh man but you need to watch it because it's always so this so complex and when he looked at me like how about you uh chris uh what you think of it oh it's ghostbuster naruto and <laughs> I blew his head, like his body was like, what the hell? And, and I was like, where's the lie? <laughs> and then he goes like, fast. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, yeah, and you can definitely, I can, any anime, I can possibly draw like the comparisons. Yeah. It's even the same. You know what I mean, like that's, whoever gets mad about that shit can go eat a, I can't say that. I want to hit the ending button twice in the stream. There's only so many no. stories. We talked about this before. We talked I about got like you. how many people have been told. <laughs> How many times Hamlet's been told? How many times all these other th- these right. things, like they, like the, the oddest been concept. told? Like, like mm-hmm. it, yeah, it happens. Who cares? You Every know? continent has well, seven though? stories. Every continent yeah. has seven stories. Let's just go yeah, and be yeah. let's let's be honest with ourselves. Every continent. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Or hell, I'll I'll even do you one better. 
because well, you know, I'll say continent. I'll stick with continent because you know what? Technically speaking, technically speaking, because of like regional storytelling, there are mm -hmm. just certain like, and I think that's why people gravitate towards certain like foreign media so much is because it's so wildly different from what you're used to because you don't have the same uh cultural uh, uh ties to it as say like someone who is natively from there so like if you watch any like anime tokusatsu k-drama you anything there are certain yeah. story tropes and elements that you like, only you know, find in Asia. That's right. Like you only mm -hmm. find them there. Yeah. You're not going to find them over here unless like yeah. somebody is inspired by them and mm -hmm. decides to use them over here. But like it speaks to them on a subliminal level. They've been hearing these right. stories since childhood. It's part of their mythology. Right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I always say this, man. When it mm -hmm. comes down to it, specifically anime, it's something that they do that <laughs> pisses me off versus comics. Mm -hmm. Is that when it's popular, everybody every like follow the same formula, right? And you can mm -hmm. see the like you can see the buzz, right? So when the Dragon Ball Z era, it was, it was all about transformation, right? So the movie yep. transformation. Even Baki had a transformation where he releases like the dopamine from his head to you know to become you know stronger, right? Then you have there was the Mech era where everything had a Gundam. You had like yep. the, uh, Gundam, Evangelion, fucking Code Geass, and now mm -hmm. because of Naruto and Bleach, everything else, you have a demon inside of you. I don't care who you yeah. are, Look, I'm gonna put a fucking demon inside of you. And, and you, you have, have a technique. Control. And you have a technique. Well, yeah, everybody's got a technique. Everybody's got a. And by the way, no one else has ever been able to do that technique except for one guy a thousand years ago. So mm -hmm. and it took him. It took him forty years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. And you just so happen to be the one person. Like everybody else can only do like one thing, but uh -huh. you can do multiple. Like you can do everybody's thing. That's right. And like you, the demon. The demon. He sucks. He's an asshole. But. You, Y'all gonna be besties. Yeah, like y'all like, yeah, ain't gonna be cool at first. But later, later, by the time y'all get to like like to you get to act three, y'all gonna be boys. Y'all gonna be boys. Y'all and, and you're sixteen no matter matter what. What? You're looking like you're twenty eight. Not only you're sixteen looking twenty eight, <laughs> you're sixteen pulling twenty eight year olds. Yeah. So, you know, like that's uh that's you, you're bad. gonna be too dumb to tell that they want you because you just see the good in everybody. You see yeah. the good in people. Like yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You, it it, it yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah, you just, you said, wait till solo leveling gets the further along. They straight up copy another anime solo arc. So can I say this much? Yeah. Solo leveling. Um, be, being a uh uh you know being a gamer that I am, mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked it. I like can it. I, just I like say, it so far. What a fucking. <sighs> Oh, maybe this is too strong, but well, no, go ahead, go off, King. Go off, I King. I did not like that ending. What a stupid, oh. fucking lackluster ending. Talk about for the okay, so yeah, the season, yeah, of the okay, season of the season, yeah, yeah, not the manga. I, I will tell you, wait, <sighs> oh, before you say anything, is solo level in a manga or a webtoon? It is a well, it's a it, it's a web comic or webtoon or whatever. Uh, okay. I, I think technically I mean, there is a, a manga because it's published on the internet. Well, no, yeah. it's 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 the way that it's done. Like it's done in like a webtoon format, like vertical where it's, format. Yeah, yeah, it's vertical. Yeah, which is why I won't read it. I I, I don't. I just yeah, there's, yeah, it's something somebody about webtoons I don't like. <laughs> I think it's the color, the color grading. Go ahead, Roman. Yeah, oh, it, it's that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. I'm when I want a story to end, there's only that it goes back to what we were saying about like Fallout and you know, is season one act one or is season one have three acts and next season will have three acts, yeah. right? It depends on how your pacing wants to go. When I saw uh, when I saw the end of solo leveling, mm. it ended on some like inconsequential shit that I was like. What? Okay, Where's I can it? tell you why you think that. I can tell you why huh. you think that. Because I don't know the consequences of what's going to happen next. No, 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 oh. no, no. Has nothing to do. With, actually, I'm going to tell you what. You are absolved of any wrongdoing in any of this. This is not your fault whatsoever. Uh -huh. There is no fault on your head at all for why you feel the way you feel. 
It doesn't have shit to do with you not being familiar with the manga. It don't have shit to do with maybe there being some deeper thing. I'm going to tell you what it is. What is it? And it's probably going to make you hate it even more because I'm not a fan of it either. Anime doesn't end on like season wise the way like Western stuff ends. Uh Uh, Like case of point. Yeah, I've been telling people me and Cynthia, we've been watching Demon Slayer. What does Demon Slayer end with on its season? Not the most heart-wrenching, most gut-wrenching fucking, you know, feel-good moment of all time in the entirety of the franchise. No, it just, it just ends on a, you know, they're, they're back at the, the Hashira training ground being goofy and doing something that has nothing to do with what just happened. Mm. Like every time they like most anime when they end a season, unless it's like like JJK is probably a little bit different uh, just because I think they kind of ended in a spot where you're just like, oh, shit. But like ninety nine point nine percent of the time anime when it ends a season is usually at a point where it's like, OK, man, yeah, shit y'all just saw that was just so fucking amazing. And oh, my God, that's probably where we should have ended it. Right. You'd be like, yeah, that's totally where you should end it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to take you back to the school and you're going to hang out at the school with them. And they're going to be like telling jokes and just being goofy, just being themselves. Okay, that's what so they do. I do, actually, <laughs> I, an, I do actually have an answer for that. And, mm-hmm. I, and I only know this because I grew up in, Latin, uh, in the yard, Latin America. The answer uh, to what? Yeah, oh, 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 of why those endings are erupt like that, right? Not oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But animes were supposed to be watched like this is going to be an off the wall comparison, like telenovelas. Mm-hmm. Every okay. Yeah, 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 I feel you. Every new episode is either weekly or damn near daily mm-hmm. until the end of the series. Yeah. Right? They will take week breaks or hiatus, right? But when I, for example, like a season of a show was such a, fo- a foreign concept to me until like I got like to like to the states because I saw Dragon Ball Z from beginning to end. It was just uh, like every Friday, you know what I mean. And and uh, same thing with Sailor Moon, same thing. And if you miss an episode, that's it, you know what I mean. And then um, there was never like, oh, that's the end of the season. See you guys next year. It was just in constant. Mm. And I, it was like that with a lot of shows, right? Now, J, I think why uh, there's a theory, right? Why JJK was the exception is because JJK became super popular. Uh, in the West, mm-hmm. so they had to structure it in a way where it creates what's it called a uh, suspense and and want to watch it. Um, what's the next season? Every other anime, they you know they still operating. I'm assuming like in the same concept because right. back in the day you would just watch it when it comes out with no breaks up until the series is over. Or uh, so, go ahead. So here's the thing: is I I see what you're all saying and you're right. Mm-hmm. Um. I think, though, mm. solo leveling does something uh, where they stop. I'm not saying it's ever been done before because I'm not like a giant anime head. Maybe I'll watch more anime and go, oh, my God, I see what they're saying. This 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 one did it, too. But so far, you know, whether I'm talking about Naruto or Demon Hunter or, or uh, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, um, Slayer, Genius Slayer. Yeah, Slayer. That's yeah, Demon Slayer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter of demons. Um, I, I, was, I was surprised that you heard me because my might be weird. Sometimes. I read, I read, I read your lips. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I was like, uh, like I, I feel you, right? Because like, like Demon Slayer does the same thing where he goes, okay, that big event's open, right? Done, and then they end up back in the school, and then and they're gonna meet the master, and then that's the end, right? But here's the thing that I think makes that a little bit different than what Solo Leveling did. Mm-hmm. They ended the arc. They beat the spider fucking chick in the forest. You know what I mean? They saved the friend. And then the big arc happens. The arc ends. And then then what? how you're describing with the silly shit. Like, that's where it should end. But they don't end it until after they're, like, doing some friendship mode shit, right? Mm-hmm. For I, That's my new term. That's the, my new term for that now. I'm going gonna, gonna to call that that from now on. You have no idea what you just started. Uh, no fr- friendship mode, like like yeah, like uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like oh, uh, see look at it. see look at him now going in fucking friendship mode. Oh man, friendship I hope they get back mode. to the fight, man. Get back to the fight. Playing... <laughs> yeah, like there was a whole fucking episode where they were like playing a sport. And I was mad as fuck. I'm like, <laughs> Bro, I don't give a fuck about this. Like he's fast forward, you know. And I'm like, but 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 solo leveling, I felt like didn't even wrap up the arc. 
Okay, yeah, like, so that's fair. It was, like, or if it did, it was like uh, I missed it. Like it was like, wait, where are we at? Are you, so is that it? Is that the art? Yeah, if it's watching back right now, right? Uh, mm-hmm. What? Uh, Robo, you watching back right now, right? Another perfect example of season a season one ending and then boom now caveman starts season two and I I was about to say uh next time you watch like when, next time you watch uh, like a uh, pick up a new anime just watch it try not to pay attention what episode you in you'll be surprised how many times you'll be like okay man this shit is getting good this is this arc is finally uh heating up and then you'll be like it'll, it'll say like. Season two, episode three, like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. I, I, that's happened to me. I've done that. I've definitely. <laughs> I just recently did that with. Um, uh, I did it with Demon Slayer. Matter of fact, <laughs> yeah. because I messed up, and I was I was on my phone too much, mm-hmm. and I didn't feel like rewatching the last episode. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, did that motherfucker die? What the fuck? So I like, and I'm like, let me see, because it was like a lower character, and so I went to ChatGPT and I said, I look on the on the thing, and I look. He said episode whatever. And and I went to ChatGPT. I said, "Hey, can you explain the the events of episode blah blah blah?" And on Hulu or wherever I was watching it, it said episode seventeen or whatever. Um, and Ch- ChatGPT was like, "There's no episode 17. I was like, "The fuck?" And then I realized I looked at the thing. It was like, "Oh, they're naming them straight through, but it's season two, mm-hmm. episode three. I didn't realize I was already in season two for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and I'll give you another one here. So they, so another thing they also like to do is, um, at least on Crunchyroll, I know they do this. Uh, Crunchyroll, you got to be careful what you look at. Because sometimes what they'll do is they'll say they'll have a they'll have one season listed as a season, but it's actually a movie. Yeah, uh. and and but but the thing is, depending on what show it is, because you know anime movies have changed so much dramatically. Yeah, that most like of them are canon. It, yeah, most of them are canon now. It used to be like back see, mm, here, here, let me let me get my walking cane out and sit down. Let me tap the cane on the on the chair and say. Ugh. Back in my day, when you were when we were watching Dragon Ball Z, when it wasn't cool to watch Dragon Ball Z, right? Well, you, you <laughs> we, we, if you told the you told the girlies you were watching Dragon Ball Z, they say ain't no sissies. I'm gonna let touch my titties <laughs> watching Dragon Ball Z. No, uh, but no, you had to lie. <laughs> you never did it. You watch anime, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what you did? You know what you did? You didn't. You didn't talk about anime. You know what you did? You watched it in the privacy of your own fucking home. You, you didn't turn them out. You don't tell you don't tell me. Like, like, like if someone like if one of your friends came over, like you you, you know, like you you're like you're a kid, you you're hanging out in your room, you got done with your homework, you're watching your Dragon Ball Z, one of your friends comes over and your mom or your dad or somebody like just lets them in but don't say nothing, and they walk in and see you watch a Dragon Ball Z, you'd be like, it it, it was it was no! <laughs> like you have to cut it off. It was porn. You, I swear I was watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, I was wait, playing wait, with wait, myself. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta that was the side homie. That was the side homie, right? Like, anybody had a side homie that you didn't do all the cool shit with, it's right? Side homie, all the nerdy shit, and then when the side homie was like, "Hey, man, can I come up?" Look, like, man, you don't even vibe like with them like that. You know what I mean? Like, no. Nah. Like, yeah. Like, okay, let's be tomorrow at your house, eight o'clock. Uh, we'll play D and D. No cameras. You know what I mean? Right, you know right. I mean? <laughs> no, no evidence. Dad, my side homie was my cousin. That side oh, homie. Everybody got a side homie. That's so fucking like, hey, What's going on? Do you see the last Sailor Moon? Depends on who's, uh, how I answer that. Depends on who's around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, man. Fuck, bro. I don't like, watch nah, that nah, shit. Nah. And then Me. later on, I'm like, oh, no, that's Sailor Moon. Yeah, fuck. Oh, of course yeah. I watch that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. bro. Me. And that dude threw the fucking rose that fucking tuxedo man got, man. Oh, Alexia finally made Me, while my VCR stops recording, pops out the tape that I just, you know, just got done recording <laughs> Sailor Moon. Uh, yeah, well, when it comes on, so I can watch it later without being judged. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you? Hey, and if you, you had a positive spot, I, I think they, I think you could saw lips. Yeah. I think oh, you could pause it just yeah. like you saw lips. 
Bro, bro, this bro, motherfucker. Bro. Her, her boobies, they jump when she they, they, Like, bro, did you bro, see dude, it? Did you, did you see that? <laughs> bro, bro. I was like, bro, come on, man. Oh, uh, what the fuck is wrong with us? I don't it know. Was, <laughs> well, I, 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 but, oh, 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 okay. I actually do know what's wrong with us. We're yeah. Amazing. Let's go. Yeah. Well, no, we, yeah. we 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 are pretty goddamn amazing in my person in 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 my most humble and personal of uh of opinions. But uh what I will definitely say is as far as like you I I I'm with you. I'm totally with you on 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 uh on on a lot of that with like you know, so I feel like it's not even so much that the 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 last episode I didn't like it just did kind of end like on a. It yeah, ended at right? a point where like, I felt like the show probably felt like it was also just beginning at the same time. Like it, mm -hmm. it did that weird thing where like the episode lasted just long enough and did just enough stuff that by the because okay, because anime has a formula. No anime breaks this formula, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. You watch an episode, you get your intro, and then you get your opening theme. And then you get into the episode. Mm -hmm. The episode ends, you get your, your your ending thing. And they tell you what's going to happen next week. And then you also, depending on the anime, yeah. you might get a, like a little goofy aside thing, uh, mm -hmm. which are usually pretty cute and dumb. And I think they're hilarious. Um, and then you start the next episode. And then the next episode, you basically are rewatching the last five minutes of the previous episode. Then the opening theme starts, and then you get into the actual show, and it's like a wash, rinse, like repeat the from new there. Shit, though. Yeah. This new shit, skip recap, mm -hmm. skip intro, man. Oh no, I do it all the time. I do it all. The I don't time. know how you all did it. Yeah, I, I, I much Dude. respect. Much respect to the OGs here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I'm watching anime. I'm catching up on all this shit. Skip intro. Give, uh, oh recap. yeah! All right, oh, yeah. get in. <laughs> so, so what we do is we watch oh. the intro, like the first, like the oh, well, not the intro, but like the first, like the like the opening theme. We probably watch it like the first couple of episodes, and then after that, it's like, all right, skip that shit every time, unless it is like a super fucking lit ass uh, opening, like um uh the 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 first opening theme for Demon Slayer. That shit yeah. is so it, that shit is so much heat. We just let that motherfucker play. It really is. Hey, no, I think they were Hunter Hunter. The theme of Hunter Hunter never gets skipped. Oh no, I, bro, let, I let that play. Hunter is my, my favorite. No, nah, I let bro, that shit play. I, 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 I shit can play. I know that. I know. I think it's trigger. I think it's trigger. I promise, I get trigger. <laughs> then he's like, he's like, no. He's like, no hey, bro, tell me this though. Tell me this. Me, huh? have, have you ever? <laughs> have you ever? Me. Have you ever loved an intro so much? You let that shit play. You sing to it. You have no idea what they're fucking saying, but you hit like the 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 words that are clear. And then, not even on a new season, just in some random episode somewhere, it's they changed the intro. And I'm I, like, every yeah, e either in the middle of a season the or in the next season. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm oh, so mad right now. Uh, by the way, there was, and I'm glad this fucking shit died down. But, bro, you might remember this, right? There was a subgroup of anime, right? Where they better not catch you skipping an intro. I don't know what it was about, like, oh, this motherfucker thing, he's an anime head, he's skipping the intros. And it was almost oh the God. same as a, the sub versus dub argument. Same shit. I'm like, the, like if you watch an anime, like with the homies, you skip intro, like, bro, you're going to skip the intro? Like, bro. That is wild. I, uh, at, least, at least dub versus sub has some has some meat to it. Like, yeah. Like, I rejected all sub versus dub 100%. You know who fucking sold me finally? My son. My okay. son. My son knows how I think. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about that. I, I got shit to do, right? So I'm going to be washing dishes, and I, I don't want to sit there and be stuck having to watch, watch. And he goes, no, 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 you don't understand. It's the quality of acting. Not acting, yeah. And mm. I'm like, he's like, all right, here, let me give you an example. And we watch... The scene in uh, Demon Slayer where, um, God, it's such a fucking, probably my best, my favorite anime scene of all time, just because of what it made me feel emotionally, is he's, he's, he's fighting the uh, spider chick. Mm -hmm. And he's coming down for the killing blow. 
and he's about to he's about to wreck her. He's all angry. He's like, whoa. He comes down, he says the fucking whatever the fuck he says, you know, uh two, two waterfall in the face, bitch. And then goes, and then that's how many of her. That's how we tell. In a nutshell. Water, water breathing. First four. Yeah. Yeah. Then you go to you. That's it. That's it. And then and then he sees her. And it's like she's sad. And then mm -hmm. his senses pick up. And, and she's uh, given it, up. Uh -huh. And bro, dude, when I say my eyes teared up, I ain't crying because I know bitch. But I was like, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he goes. You sounded like somebody there. I'm not gonna say <laughs> <laughs> my old self. I said, I come no. over here and he goes, Oh. Healing waters, seventh form. And he goes, Shh. and he gives her like a super clean, soft death. Like, so it was painless as fuck. And then it all goes super slow. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Then then he says, now play it again in, Jap in the Japanese, the, the sub version. And I was like, all right. I was like, way better. When he screams and, and mm -hmm. just the, the, the sadness in his voice. And, and it was just like, okay. All right. I think I think it was yeah. you, Robo, that I was telling you once when it, uh, when the argument of a sub versus dub came up, and I say, from my experience, growing up in DR, we would prefer to watch movies in English with subtitles than with the Spanish so because it was bad. It sounded off the like it was bad. I you know what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. uh, so that that was my reason why I prefer sub. But when I became a content yeah. creator, I got shit to do, so I can't yeah. just stop and read. I yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. No, no, I'm, I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. 100. percent Yeah. Well, 100%. I, I also, See, even I, though I, I know it's better, I still got dishes to clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, <laughs> I, I'm, and I'll be honest with you. Sometimes it's not better to me. Like, cause there's sometimes there's some voices that get really annoying to me, uh, and I'm just like, it, I don't like. Yeah. I, also, I don't like all the screaming. Uh, like, like especially, especially if it's just like case in point, characters like Zenitsu. In Demon Slayer. Couldn't stand him at first. Couldn't stand no. him. No. Mm -mm. I still can't stand him. I still Couldn't stand him. Still can't. Right. My least favorite character in the whole show. The best part <laughs> of him was, was in season two, and he was he was technically sleep, sleeping throughout the whole season. That's why he was so mm. badass. And yeah. I, I couldn't stand his ass. Uh, like, my boy was like trying to convince me, oh, he, he, he goes bad. And I'm like, yeah, I get it, but it's Which not Which one is it, this? Bro. What is this about? The Demon Slayer, yeah. Zenitsu, Demon Slayer. the blonde hair oh, boy. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, 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 gotcha. The one was like, oh my point. God, why are you not doing this? Let me do this. Like, like, it's funny Nezuko. sometimes, but Nezuko. then it gets weird. Also, yeah, uh, the, the Nezuko thing has gotten weird for me now, too. So that's yeah, yeah, another. Yeah, we had that conversation. Yeah, and, uh... it's, it's, yeah no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, y'all can yeah. stop with the, y'all y'all can stop with that. But no, uh, I will say, let me read this. Uh, Night Parade Dragon with the four months of the Blur Club gold mine says, bro, I nearly lost my mind when I thought I saw, uh, was, oh, Ka oh, uh, was it, uh, uh, Kaiden, is it Kaiden? I always wonder how you say her name. Is it Kaiden or, or Keaton? Today. Either way, Kaiden, well, I'm gonna say Ka Kaiden Nixon as uh, at the Dazzler show shot satisfied a 20 year head cannon. Wasted opportunity, it was boom boom. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I, I I looked at that at first and I actually kind of wondered uh, uh upon a second watch if that was who it was, but then I was like, nah, she blowing she she popping that bubble gum off. So I was like, that's boom boom. Uh I think she actually even had some earrings on that her day on it too. I think I have to go back and relook. And we got one here from uh 499 with the uh new money baby says blur doing Jay-Z impressions of Chris doing hand jutsus. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> hey, we do we out here. <laughs> we out. We out. Wait. These hands uses why people thought you were weird in high school because you were over here trying to play tag and summon different, you know, different powers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, dude, I dude, let let uh, Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer have been around like when I was in high school. Do I'm you know saying, the... I want to see these new nerds out there. You're right? I want, to be, I want somebody to be like, Oh, oh I got yeah. you. No, I, I, I got you. Like, I got, I like, like no, no. no. It's like, uh, uh. What, look, what, like, I think the closest I got is like Death Note was kind of like vaguely a thing. Yeah, and nice. uh, like, you know, it's, I, I knew I, I used to hang out with some cats that were a little younger and they would always, you see some motherfucker walking around with the notebook and we'd always be like, Oh yeah, yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, you better watch out for him. Yeah. Don't piss him off. That motherfucker about to write your whole name, your name, your family name. Everybody about to be gone. That's all oh, right there. You, that's you, Ernie. You. That's, that's that was Ernie. Ernie had to change schools because he found his death note. <laughs> and, and, and Ernie's telling that story like it's somebody else. Yeah, I see you, Ernie. I see, I see. It's like wait a minute. I reach. I, 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 I don't know. 
wait, wait, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What is my hand doing right here? Of course, I'm not writing. <laughs> of course, I'm not writing any names. <laughs> Chris, <Stifer>. down. <laughs> well, here, let me write this down real quick because they talking spicy, man. Let me. I'm gonna I'm I'm fix them. <laughs> I, I, I can see me and Robo, you know, and, uh, during the fuckboy years, just go, like getting curved and just yelling domain expansion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, lie. <laughs> That's my go-to now, like on anything. I'm just like, like if I'm like, like what was it? The other day I was playing uh, Dragon's Dog and getting my cheeks like just completely inverted uh, by because uh, I, I ran into another Dullahan. Uh, I ran into another Dullahan and I wasn't really? ready. And, yeah. Like I, I killed like the like, I, I had killed one prior. So I was like, okay, I get mm -hmm. how this works. But I ran into another one when I wasn't like as prepared. Like I had switched vocations and was messing with some new shit. And dude, let me tell you something. I was like, like my one of like my main pawn because I had changed her stuff too. And I was like, I was like, domain expansion, bitch. <laughs> God damn, I was like domain expansion. He gonna kill you. <laughs> my shit is Fuga from uh, Sukuna. Oh the, yeah, the subversion. Sub mm. I'd be saying that shit randomly Dude. at work. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll but, it. But no, all right, I love it. Okay. That, you, <laughs> <laughs> He's like fucking nerds. All right, <laughs> it's like I was, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. You know, hey, hey I don't even have to tell you. Just be like, well, no, I, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I will say this. Uh, you know what? We got uh, um. I feel like we got a lot of show out. I feel like we got a lot yeah, of show. We 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 got a lot. We're eating. We 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 we. we, we, we and you know what? I feel like you know what? I'd, I'd rather I'd rather leave them laughing. Um. So you know what? Who did did I take us out last time? I did. I did last time. You right? did. So I guess I think it's Robo. It's Robo's turn. Robo, you take us out this time. Can do. Ladies, gentlemen, MBs, that is the show. Uh, this is Nerds of Culture. Uh, for Blurred, Minus Fear, myself, Robo, find me on Left Face TV, and Chris, find him at Just Chris Cypher and Cypher World uh, for comedy and video games. I appreciate you, the love, whether you donated or you were just here. Uh, thank you so much for the support. And uh, don't forget, liking the video is free, sharing the video is free. Uh, uh, help us help us be somebody because we trying to be somebody <laughs> <laughs> <I'll> be <it>. <laughs> <laughs> on that note i'm gonna say uh you know what uh thank you everyone for all your love everything you've given uh and and especially your time um and yeah on that note <sighs> man Who's I don't going? really know who to go out on on this one because yeah, you know we had a positive show. We, yeah, we had on? a very positive show. So you know what? I'm gonna say you know. So you know, we're gonna keep it positive. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. We're, oh, you know what? No, no, no. Hey, you know what? Somebody died today. Somebody died. True. So true. you know what? Juice. I'm gonna say it here. OJ Simpson. You're already in hell, most likely. <laughs>